All right then, let's get started. A tiny bit late, but I was looking through the workshop a little bit there, and I I did uh, subscribe to a few new items. I don't think I took anything uh, production or factories. Well, oh, actually, no, I did. No, apparently I didn't subscribe to any factories yet, or maybe it's not showing them. I don't know, but uh, anyway, a few new items there. Uh, so today we'll hopefully get the trains going around a little bit. So what I will do actually, we need to buy a blueprint for open cargo. And I think I'm actually going to take this one. The blueprint doesn't cost much more than that, or more than the previous one. But you can carry a lot more. We'll buy that one, so we'll, once we are done with the second box car, we're going to get some open wagons and maybe another train. Uh, no, I did not have the game open while subscribing. But yeah, I, I was browsing through some of the factories, but I'm not sure if I managed to download them or not. I'm gonna probably after the stream I'm gonna take some time to go through because there's some interesting actually no uh, one easy way to see is if there is the power plant yes I got some wind turbines for example they don't provide a massive amount of power but it's still power I can start utilizing them a little bit in certain places I think they don't cause much pollution at least anyway let's unpause so we got the tracks all the way here, or well, basically anything west of Romograd is completed, and, well actually pretty much anything west of uh, Alino really has been completed they are working down here, which is taking a while and apparently, oh there we go, they got some workers in there again and now it's leaving out again is the other train waiting on this side? No, I don't think so. Might be heading back right now and might be meeting them. Passing each other at some point. Or maybe we'll also working on the other areas. Anyway, we got a lot of money even though we just used uh, 3 million. We still got quite a bit, and we did send the... Right, so we got another passenger ship actually here, so I'm going to set you to the... Pravda... Pravda, and... Get more workers over here, because I'm pretty sure that there's plenty of... Oh yeah, over 300 people waiting there. Now, to be fair, there's a fair bit of traffic here. So, it's not going to be too bad, there's also about, well... Bit, Around 100 workers here as well, and a lot of passengers. Okay, so you are bringing more crops. We've got more crops over here as well. I mean, we are not using the food all that quickly over here right now. Which is not bad. And then we got some electronics waiting there. Uh, how are we doing in terms of electronics anyway? we got 27 tons. And we got another 12 tons over there. Okay, so not too bad. How are we doing? Ooh, we got 22 tons of chemicals here. But the chemical production is now doing alright. At least over there. I'm not sure about uh, the missing chemicals over here. So are these now working? Some of them are. Oh, you don't have power. Well, that's not good. Um, Are you seriously too far away from any of the... Oh, yeah, you... All of those lines are in use right now. I see. Well, that's going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? Like, seriously, you are too far away? You are too far away. Okay. Uh, where do we have this substation? We've got a substation here. I could potentially... Get a small switch over here somewhere. Or where's the... Hmm... Okay, well, let's start by setting up a substation somewhere around here, so we can get started. 
There's one there. I suppose, yeah, if we put in a medium voltage switch down here somewhere. That should work. I'm gonna... Actually, let them build up that one, then I can build up the lines quicker. Or afterwards. Put some cash. Right, so let's bring in more steel. How much do we have over here right now? Ooh, 25 tons, but a bit low on coal. Actually, very much low on coal. Okay, um... Oh, right, yeah, I was planning on potentially getting... A... Hold on a minute. Oh, building us on fire. Oh, no. Food factory in bread and vodka. Well, luckily, there's a fire station right nearby. There's one injured. But it should be going out soon enough. There we go. That's been sorted out. The population is currently almost 44,000. So it's grown quite a bit. Oh, and we got another 3 million here waiting. Yep, more fires. Two weeks in in a fire. Yep. Oh, that's actually rather empty. So let's send you out. Over here, we are working on a lot of the housing. Um, we do have some people in here. Do we have a lot of... Actually, we've got quite a bit of adults living with their parents, so we might want to move some people in this town. Plenty of room here, although I'm not... Well, it is close enough to most of the services anyway. Not necessarily everything. Oh, that reminds me, we... Oh, right, yeah, that was too steep, wasn't it? Unless we can get around here somewhere. see. Well, that technically works. At least to a degree. Uh, not necessarily to a degree that I want it to work though. Let's try this again. Can we get up? Hold on a minute. That works. Okay, I'll just insta-build these. You see, we need to be close enough to get into the pump. It's very important. There we go. Now we're going to reach there. So that is now basically within reach of all of the services, so we could move in some people there. So I'm guessing Zagrad has probably a little bit extra. 500. Let's take one of these and empty it. There we go. Actually, um, we might want to get a town hall here, and I do know that I have some of the modded ones available. Oh, right, agri-farm. But I did get one of the factories at least. Is there anything else? There's the conveyor pipes, forklifts, parking lots, parklands, protocol. Oh, right, and I got a smaller radio station. And then some hospitals. Oh, right, uh, I got the hospital with two roads now. Which should uh, at least uh, have a bit of a less traffic jams attached to it. And there's a few other buildings that I brought in right before the start of the stream here. Hello, Zillman. So my road over passive for heat pipes. Oh yeah, I, I did actually notice that in the workshop, but I didn't download it yet. But it would be handy. On the other hand, I tend to have my heat pipes raised up anyway, so I can just get roads under them. So that hasn't necessarily been a problem for me, but I can see them being something that people need. True. It can be a bit messy, but... Hold on, so the bridge is still under construction, and there is a train right here now. Without workers, though, so that's a minor issue. Plenty of gravel there. Now, Tillman, um, last week I believe you told about some of the factory mods, or factories that had uh, 
higher or lower capacity on something. I had mirrored ones. Uh, could you link them in Discord just so that I can remember after the stream? I was trying to browse through the workshop before I started, but I there's a lot of things in there. I'm trying to find the button. Trying to find something that I don't quite remember is a bit of a challenge in a short time span. Uh, could be the car factory, yeah. I think there were, were some other things that we were discussing, but the car factory definitely rings a bell. We got some workers over here, and we still got a thousand adults living with their parents. I'm guessing we got some room in big Ukraine here. Mirror and one fourth size. Sounds handy. I'm guessing the work speeds are also a bit reduced, but I don't really see that as a problem. Because we do have 4,000 workers living in big Ukraine already, but that's not too bad. I suppose I could start planning the actual housing area here. We have that road, which is going to be providing roads for services. Cement plant... Oh no. Well, the fire stations are not all that far away. That reminds me, did we... We did upgrade most of the roads here. There might still be one bit of road some... No, actually this side seems to be completely upgraded now. A little bit over there that doesn't need to be upgraded and a bit... Well, this stretch of road that needs to be upgraded here at some point has been a bit of a less of a priority lately. Still got hundreds of workers waiting there. That means that we probably have a bit more workers on this side as well. We're gonna get our second boxcar soon and get the open wagons. I actually wonder how does it work if I want to send this to the depot does it magically appear there? No? Is it uh waiting for delivery or something? Okay, so that's... Uh, we'll probably need to have a... Let's see, can we send the locomotive there? Okay, that one is moving. Then I suppose we can send this... Once it's over there, we're going to send back here to pick up some of the cars or something like that. Oh, there was two citizens lost in the fire in the cement plant. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, and the traffic over here is starting to be rather... Well, I wouldn't say massive, but quite substantial. We've got a fair bit of fuel there, and we've got quite a bit of bitumen as well. Is this... That's the fuel ship, so this is the bitumen one. Go out again to export a little bit, and did we... Hold up, so this is the pump harbor area. We do not have enough to export from here. At some point we may need to get a few more trucks over there. Uh, how much do we have? We got 1,000 tons in the grain ship already. That's not too bad. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, is the train probably left already? Has it arrived at the... Because I reckon it could probably... Oh! Uh, yep, there it is. Actually going fairly smoothly there. Right, so if you go... Down there. And... Uh, hold on. Well, I suppose since there's only trains available there. So you load there, and then... And you go back here. Let's see how that works. I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work. At least you can go at decent speed. Are oh, you going to refueling? Actually, that's smart.
Actually, I, I'm gonna have to start upgrading some of the railways here at some point. Mostly because uh, the 70 km per hour is rather slow. I mean, it's better than nothing, of course. There's less, less traffic jams on the rails than on the roads. They're not affected by the winter. I kind of want to follow this to see how well it behaves on the lines here. It seems to work. Oh, now you're waiting. Oh, all right, because I haven't done all the lines and then one ahead of you. Oh, right, uh, that may be a problem. That may be a massive problem. Do we have any diamonds here? No. So that one will be following on the same... Ah. Uh. Okay. Where did the train go? Started building that one, but we don't have the... You can't switch your rail there, okay. There's a way around this. We built those. <laughs> yeah, probably something like that. So that's gonna be well, both ways for the time being. And technically, that will allow the other train to take different routes there. I suppose I could set up this one as a... Hold on, so that could... If these are going to be one-way directional, generally speaking, this can actually be a regular one now. And then this can be... And even if we are building over there, there's still this where they can switch rails. But technically I could even switch this one to be one way. And that can stay as a... gain signal. Although technically... It can be a regular one for the time being. But the other one should be moving. Yep, and these. Yep, that one switched the rails. Good. We fixed a problem. I'm proud of myself, at least to a degree. Right, so we'll set up some signals down here, I think. Want to keep the signals far enough so there's room to go, or room to speed up a little bit. Oh, you took both of the boxcars, excellent. That's actually handy. So you should be switching over there. Yeah. Okay, so now we know how that works. Still, this uh, whole area of an intersection is just a nightmare to try to drive through, I guess. But so far, it seems to work, so I'm not complaining. I did put some thinking and effort into making it working. Right, I guess we may need to send out another ship to export stuff. Oh, we got three and a half million, and okay, and these both are going to be leaving at the same time, basically. So I'm just going to send one of them out already by some time. That's currently unloading. Crops is almost empty already. So I guess we did have quite a bit of uh, room in those uh, storages. Fair enough. Right, so do we still have... we got a few hundred adults doing their parents, so let's... Ah, thanks for the link, Tillman.
I'll take a look at it after the stream. Right, um... I'll move in a bit more people here. And I'm guessing... Proud probably has a bit more. It has 400. I can probably take someone like this and move them to Big Ukraine. Although Big Ukraine seems to be rather full right now. Actually very full. Oh my goodness. There's a little bit of room down here, I suppose. We need to start setting up the services down here for the second half of the city. Let's have a look. Straddle carrier. Um, I'm not entirely sure. We've got the university over there. I don't think we need a second university, quite frankly. We'll have a look at the improved hospital, though. Keeping content. Ah! <laughs> Lever. Okay, so we'll place a hospital there, I think. We're gonna have another road going on on the portion over there. Right, so what else do we need? We do not have the kindergarten. There should be a big kindergarten. We we'll place the road down here. I may need to set up a second one, quite frankly. Somewhere further down this way. And then probably get a couple schools. Okay, this is actually the biggest... Oh, wow, that is a big school. Uh, I don't think we need quite that big one. Um, this might be better. Over there. Ah, fair enough. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll get another school down here, I guess. Although, is there... This is a bit smaller, so we'll place... Oh, it can fit in a bit tighter spot, I suppose. Place right about there. We've got those. What else do we need? We'll need some cinemas. We'll get a library. It can house quite a bit of people, I guess. around there. Okay, so what else? I actually, no, we can use the vanilla parking lots a little bit. Not massively, but a few of them every, oh, in a couple places. Might be a good idea. If we can get one of the smaller radio stations here. Probably could put it next to the university, quite frankly. We already got a city hall here. Probably, oh, we've got a fire station over there. That's probably going to be enough for the city. For the time being, anyway. Let's see, sports is something that we do still need. Another sports hall here somewhere rather central. Maybe somewhere around there. And then we could probably set up another one over here. Because I know that sports is something that is needed quite a bit. Oh, right, yeah, I, I actually do have that uh, sports playgrounds. Oh, there's some of these that can basically be built right next to it. Actually, we probably should be using the 80s then. Oh, this is actually a bit bigger one. Well, we already got two. I don't think we need a third one. That was the library. Which are probably going to be fine for the time being. We do need another shop. I suppose if we get a department store. Oh, that's a rather small one. Commercial build, actually. Uh, which one would have the biggest set? We do have a pretty good uh, storage capacity. I actually wonder, would this be in a good location? Would be able to reach most of the people at least. I think. Right, so we'll put that one there. 
And then what we can have is another storage. Small storage that is, or small warehouse. Um, well actually we might get one of these. Oh, I could place it down there. Bit of flattening. Prefer stores that have food or consuming goods, not both in one. Oh, fair enough. I prefer the one that is both in the same building. It makes it a bit easier for me. Oh, right, and then we needed to have the cargo station here. Actually, let's make it like this. Although I'm pretty sure that that did not link correctly. No, it did not, but now it did. Right, so I think that covers most of the services right now. Let's figure out, we wanted to have a road down here. More or less, we can probably link to that one. Then we're going to have a collection of roads down here, connecting there. And this can connect to this road here. Over here, we can have a road. We'll probably get a parking lot over there. We'll have a another road going down this way. And you know what? We will actually have a secondary road over here. We can probably fit in something small over here. Oh, and we should probably connect that one. Start contracting these. Oh, right, these still need to be connected. Right. built those and now we can basically start filling this up with housing which is going to be quite a bit of housing let me tell you all right so let's go residential Did we actually oh we can fit these here excellent Electronics and clothes by bus works pretty good for food. It doesn't. Local food stores and so uh, Fair enough. Like, I'm sure that that is probably actually more effective than what I'm doing. Oh crap, I didn't mean to have that many connections there. I'm just gonna demolish that one. Yes, please. There we go. Those two are fine, but the. Right. I did pause the game. Could I get something very thin? I could fit in this one. Question is how well... That's going to be a little bit of room there. Good path over there and then I can get a connection over here. Build that one. Connect those. We can start building those footpaths as well. And then this footpath can be connected there. Can this be connected anywhere? Ooh. As a matter of fact, yes, it can. Right, so that's a few buildings there. Could I fit anything on this small bit here? Probably not. But let's have a look. Hold on, so that was the hospital anyway. Um, we'll actually want to leave that open. So that we can get the footpath going through there. Right, then this was the library. I'll actually let them build some of the roads before I do too much of the footpath connections. Just so that it doesn't break them too badly. So let's, in the meanwhile, take a room over here.
bus lines was mostly empty. All used by students. Ah, oh, fair enough. Ooh, I'm actually gonna need secondary heat exchanger here. Probably put it down there, actually. So you can... Well, the factories won't need that, but... Yeah, so let's actually do that one first, so I can figure out what I need in terms of space. That seems to be a pretty good spot. Just reaches the electricity from the harbor area and reaches quite a few buildings on the town itself. Right, so now that we got that, we just need to get the heating pipe. And it needs to be drawn from here. Shouldn't really be an issue though. Probably draw it from there, then cross the road. Okay, fairly close to that, and then we can do the little, little trick there. So now we have another pipe. It is a bit of a long one, to be fair, but I hope it... Well, um, hmm. Let's just hope that it works. It might drop a little bit of the heat value there, because it's such a long pipe. I hope it doesn't do it too much. Right, so let's go ahead and start putting down some more housing here. And, ooh, electricity is also something that we're going to have to fix here. Yeah, we're going to have to get another substation somewhere over here. Right, so how about... So one there. Can we fit in one here? It's going to be rather... Probably a bit too close, actually. No, I, I don't think I want to fit in that one. Could I? Smaller one? Mm, not really. I don't think there's anything thin, thin enough to actually fit in there. A little, little, little bit extra room there. Probably fine. Utilize a bit more room over here, though. Actually, there's one here. I place one at the right at the edge of the road there. I, I hope. And then put a little bit over here. Should still leave enough room for some of the footpaths that aren't required. But this is going to be a massive city, actually. Now that I look at it. One right there, because there's no footpaths on that side anyway. I have a feeling that the utilities over here will not be sufficient, quite frankly. <laughs> yeah, you know, just reach over the balcony. Right, I don't think I need those factory connections, so I can actually put in one more over here. As I said before, I probably wouldn't like to live in the cities that I'm designing, but they are fairly space efficient. There's one over there as well. So we'll have one footpath going through here, over there, and there's going to be a footpath going through there. Actually, if we place one over here, there should be room for the footpath to go behind it. And then we place one opposite to it. 
Right, is there room for more over here? I reckon there is. Um... That should be fairly good. I'm actually going to leave a little bit extra room there, just in case. Over there, then put in the counterpart here. These no road connections yet. Um, technically, if I place one over here, then the opposite once again. I even no, I don't think I can fit another one over there, but that's fine. Leaving a little bit extra room for the footpath to go alongside the road is not necessarily a terrible idea, although slightly unnecessary, I suppose. Ah, uh, they could be a bit small. I'm not going to place one over there. Actually, I suppose I could set up one more store over there. Like, I... Actually... Yeah, I only have one store here. Okay, yeah, we definitely need a second one. Uh, shop. Um... Department store. Let's see if we make this into just food. Problem is, how are we going to get the road connection here. I suppose if we place it somewhere over here. Oh, actually, I have an idea. Not what I had in mind originally for this place, but yeah, this will work. Get a road connection through there. Right, we haven't actually started doing the footpath connections, but we have left a lot of, well, some room for those at least still. Right, let's get some more houses over here. So my estimation is that this city will probably house about 20,000 people. Maybe more, maybe less. Actually, wonder. If I place one over here. Maybe one over here. A little room for one more here, I guess. Not quite this size, though. But this one will work. There we go. Let's have a look. What sort of mess have we left? Uh, it's pretty large, and there's always room for more over here. I suppose. Should probably set up some smaller bus stops in places. People die, don't like stores with empty storages. Just that they go there anyways and they return pace because they couldn't get what they want. Possibility. But I suppose that's something that we can test. So the radio station over here is slowly coming up. Um, got a bus stop there. I think we may want to set up one over here. Probably go with a small one. Where's the... There you are. Place one over there. Probably place one down here as well. And so let's actually have a quick calculation. How many houses did we set down here? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. 
Uh, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. I'd say about 40 to 50 houses in this uh, half of the town. Each one has 225 workers max, so that's that's quite a sizable uh, population. We have gotten some of the footpaths already going in here. I mean, actually, the construction offices are rather busy here. Oh, and you should probably be given some of the... Well, you need to get uh, asphalt from there. No, that's concrete. That's the asphalt. Probably get some gravel from there. Then I suppose... Um, steel you can get from there. Bricks you can get from there. Panels you can get from the factory and bores from there. And then both of these from here, presumably. You don't need to get workers on your own. Also, are you getting the workers from... Where, exactly? Okay, you are getting them from there, good. Oh, and there's a lot of <laughs> excavators moving about. Right, so they've actually managed to do the fields now. So we'll get a pretty good harvest from there, and did we got a distribution office there? They'll be bringing in the crops around here. How are the rails going? Also, let me just make sure that the train is waiting here. It is. And it's actually separated. Ooh, oh, that's handy. Right, so if we have a look, how are the... Oh, the open wagons are already completed. Well... Uh, do you have the orders? Yes, you do. Why don't you get moving? There we go. So, have we got on the bridge yet? Oh, we have. We barely started on this one yet, but... We are doing well. Oh, hello. That's some good news. Right to get to the platform over here, which reminds me, we don't have a passenger cart yet. So, let's buy a blueprint, shall we? Uh, passenger wagon. This one has 115, 115, 125. It's actually fairly cheap to make, but probably not particularly good. You know what, I'm just going to take the first one on the list. Oh, and another fire. Of course there is. Um, not over there, but in... Oh, no. Well, luckily there's only vehicles in there, and the... no one should get hurt. There we go, that's been sorted out. Ooh, we don't have any coal ships there, but do we have... We've got plenty of coal here, so that's not really the problem. Now, I did want to set up the... Right, did we get... Alternative route over there, or did we... Because I wanted to get the aggregate unloading here, so the, the coal unloading trucks are not going in there and causing traffic jams there, potentially, but rather over here, and they'd be able to do it a little bit quicker. I wanted to check that, so if we have a look at conveyor belt unloading... Oh, right. We'd have to basically take over pretty much all of that space there. And even then, it's not guaranteed that it would fit there. Um, I have not checked the power demand, but I know that it does take a fair bit every now and then. Yeah, it, it can take a fair bit. But, with currently the max isn't... Well, no, no, it, it's just actually a fair bit. I think they are usually unloading one ship at a time, for the most part. Loading one is the nasty one. Oh yeah, that that most certainly takes a lot. I guess that's the well, the max number over here. I'm not entirely sure if it's the max number in total, but oh, hold on. Uh, do we have a? Oh, oh crap! 
Both of these are about to go exporting again. Okay, let me just... You know what I'm just gonna let it be. Three points to get for one shot. Ah, yeah. That is a fair bit. I think I'm gonna have to send this one out again. I'm guessing our yeah, crops are empty over there with our buying crops directly on these two as well. Losing a little bit of money right now, but that's probably mostly due to the fact that well, we gather another seven million in exports. Another power plant next year. Fair enough. I did say I'll get the uh, wind power plants or wind turbines now, which do provide a decent bit of power actually. They do take some small amount of workers, but not too bad. They might be a bit OP, quite frankly, but I have not tested them yet. But did we? We never got the power supply there, so let's uh, fix that right about now. Cancel these a little bit. You can connect there, you can connect there, and this one, connect there. There we go, now we should have power here. So we can actually increase the chemical production, and over here we got plenty of chemicals, and that's not a problem. The, oh, we actually got a decent bit of chemicals over here as well. So we'll be able to provide quite a bit of plastics, which of course will be used in various, oh, we got 20 cells of plastics there. Aha! Uh -huh. Are you actually delivering plastics to... Mm, just some places? Could even increase that to 60% at least over there. I'm not entirely sure. There's that cargo station with this... Third cargo station 2. You should be unloading plastics over there a little bit. Train aggregate loading stations and nasty with power. Oh, I, yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Uh, is that the number one? So you are basically unloading anything there that you can. Oh, right, we've been producing quite a bit of refrigerated trucks right now. Ooh. Uh, how about we switch back to the covered holes for the time being, anyway? We will have plenty of use for the. Ooh, hello. Uh, is there a fire truck? Oh, yeah, there's a fire truck over there. Just not a lot of people in there, so there's uh, potential for disaster. Because most people don't. Oh crap! Come on, get your work. Get your work. Okay, now it's no longer going forward. Just need a few more people and then it should be... Yeah, now it's under control. There's a few people that have been killed already with the fire though, so that's a bit less than ideal. It's too far station and it's known to run smooth. Ooh. Yeah, luckily I don't have a... Uh, train aggregate uh, stations. Well, I'm, technically I do have one, but it's not in use. And I don't think it's going to be in use anytime soon. There's this one, but it doesn't really have much in there. Right, have we? We've gotten a little bit closer to that station already. We started doing that. Right, oh, right, we never got that one connected to anyway. Hmm. That was for cargo. Right, so I wanted to have some sort of uh, warehouses and such over here before... Right, but this is not really a priority area, quite frankly. Not yet, anyway. But that road is almost completed. These roads are almost completed. It's been completed, that's underway, that's completed. That should be underway, and it seems to be. Oh, right, um, hmm. No staff, or oh, okay. Um, something that we do need. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna buy those uh, ambulances. They're not all that expensive. 
Well, you know what? They do actually cost a little bit, but we got the money. And the radio station is coming along quite nicely. It needs a bit more steel, but other than that, that's going to be a secondary radio station. Oh, and the ambulances are all leaving out now. Okay, uh, have they got on? They got on salty houses completed. So how about we move in some people to those, so that we can get the workers in there. I'm guessing actually Romulcra is probably the place where we should. Ch oh well, there's only hundred there. So what about over here? We got another five hundred. Let's take one of these and move them over. Now we should get some workers in here as well. So we can start treating some patients. Right, so you're delivering panels there, alright then. You know what? Since we got the room over there, I'm gonna place down a good old fashioned football playground there. Yeah, I can probably set more than one. Um, place it somewhere around there. There should still be enough room to get the path around those two. But you know, a little bit extra surfaces probably doesn't hurt. Now, to be fair, where's this substations that we have? Oh, right, we can actually get some more power from this area. If need be. And I think we will need. Well, let's get that one going already. Um, infrastructure, medium... Uh, yeah, we'll place that one here. Get yeah, across the road, because there's a bit less stuff in there. Um, that's probably a little bit better there. Yeah, I don't want that particular one there. Oh, another fire, of course there is. So we need to connect to that one, so we can probably dive uh, this way, and then connect there and start constructing that. Right, so where's the fire? Oh no, Big Ukraine is one of the... Okay, well, we do have the fire station here. It does have a lot of people. It shouldn't really be a problem. Actually, where are the... Ah, good point. Uh, let me demolish these then. I'm not actually entirely sure if I have the modded football playing ground though. No, but I suppose I could get some gyms or something like that there. They actually take a bit less room as well. Okay, so that's been saved, and I believe no one died. Do we have... Oh, right, that's still empty, because we have not set up the logistics up for that. Do we have... Oh, right, yeah, we do have some of the... Right, so where's, where's the meat storage over there? There's one over there. I suppose I should get some recharger trucks there and start delivering the... Oh, right, the meat needs to be delivered directly to the store there and there as well. Yeah, we'll set up. I'll uh, send at least some of the trucks over there already. Those two and those two. There we go. But we can start at least delivering some of the food here, or meat rather. Actually, I could potentially even set up a 
meat storage down here connected to the railroad. So we're going to use the uh, trains to take some meat to various other places. Like to the Pravdova area. Yeah, there's a bit of a traffic jam here. Thanks to the paver. But, ooh, we got 200 workers over there waiting. Right, did we... we got the... Oh, we actually had a one refrigerator truck here already. Why don't we send you there? And then let's send some buses to that one. Because I know that we have some. Not setting up some of the logistics. Hold on, did the ships not leave yet? Oh, that's the wrong port. No, one of them did. This one. Oh, wow. 4.4 million on this one. Ooh. Okay, now it's leaving. Is the second one. No, it's not even left the whole. Just left the borders. Okay. Oh, well, I suppose we'll get quite a bit of money from that one as well. Okay, yeah, we've got 9 million on these two ships. Not too shabby. Right, so did we get the train completed yet? No. Ah, oh, that's going to take a while. And what about the new ship here? That's also going to take a long while. How are we doing in terms of plastics? Seems to be doing quite fine. But I think we don't need to buy more plastics anymore. At least for the time being, we're going to stop importing those. Oh, we've been building this rail pretty far. Oh, on both sides, actually. Almost reaching the harbour here. Right, so over here we still... Are we waiting for something in special? Oh, no steel. I see. Well, I suppose that is understandable. Bit of a delay. Oh, wow. Is that... This was the place that was on fire, wasn't it? I've not seen that before. That's pretty cool. You are unloading the coal there. Slowly but surely. Oh, and now they're going to refuel. That's fine. Actually, where is the... There's a gas station over there, which is actually... Fairly well stocked up right now. Probably set up another gas... Oh, we do have a gas station over there, but that is not in the logistics. Now it is. We'll get it filled up a little bit. Do we still have... No, that's currently empty, but I'm guessing we got plenty in here. Oh, yeah. We got plenty over there. Right, so over there you're going to... Load up um, meat. I mean, meat is the only one that you have access anyway. But yeah, you'll load up the meat there, and then you can start unloading over there. Go for at least 50% capacity. Then we can't store the meat in that one, unfortunately, so it's going to have to be in the stores themselves. Well, I just wonder, should I? Hmm. I could set up a intermediary stop over here for meat, for example, so that I can use that one to unload meat over here, and then from here the meat will be delivered to Rommelkraut, for example. And then with the train we can take to Pravdov, and uh, Zagra is going to be fine with just the meat produced in bread and vodka. Right, so, um, where is the meat storage? Wait. Hmm, I'm gonna place you down there. I wonder, could I get a... I don't necessarily need a... argument in all fairness. 
Let's just use a regular road. So we can start filling up that then, I suppose. That one's... Well, this is completely empty, so I'm going to send some refrigerator trucks there. Oh, and an auto save. Of course there is. Right, so it was that one. So those can then start delivering the meat from here to Rommelgrad. Which I'm pretty sure that they do want there. I mean, there's... Yeah, they could get some meat there. And where's the other shop? Over here. Yeah, so that's going to lower some of the import stuff, or need for the import. And they've got on the road over here. They have not gotten stop station yet, but there is a excavator. No, actually, no, no excavator, but there's a dumper and a mixer heading here. And we have started working on the grain storage. I need a bit more concrete, but that's about it. And, ooh, right, so here is what we're doing the groundwork for. That's good, getting the asphalt there. We've got another, ooh, 46,000 population, almost 47. So it's certainly growing quite nicely. Right, I believe we've got most of the roads and stuff completed already around here. There's still a few places that we need to kind of wait, but then we can start setting up the footpath network in here. Also, is there... Well, there's a lot of passengers waiting there, for sure. Oh, and there's a lot of students waiting here. Alright, then. Well, it's a good thing, in a way. At least that means that we'll get some educated people in the future. Right, so the department store is requiring more steel. Not surprising, in the slightest. Right, so I'm guessing we got this one. Oh yeah, that's pretty much full of meat. But over here, we don't need to buy the meat anymore. Actually, one thing that I could do is I could utilize this one for kind of a delivery between the, or between Rommelgrad, the industrial area, and Big Ukraine. I actually like that idea, so how about we get some covered hull trucks there? Or we could even have one of these offices be delivering electronics to various other locations. It's actually not a terrible idea either, because we do have the room. For example, if we send them over there. We're getting more covered hull trucks, but that's fine. Actually get these two dumpers sent to the construction office down here. Oh, and we got another construction office that has nothing right now. We're gonna have five vehicles soon enough, but that's not really an issue. Okay, so we got that. We haven't actually started wor working on that particular bit there. There's still work to do on this side as well. I trust there's no traffic jams here. Nope, that is going out. I'm guessing the train is still... Ooh. Oh, they're making the diamond here. Excellent. Excellent. And they've done the diamond over there, but they have not done this one yet. It's a bit of a shame. This one is... Oh, so that is still underway, and yeah. So they haven't actually gotten here since the last time we looked. Right, so there's certainly a little bit of room over there. Oh, right, they haven't got on their food needs yet. That may make them a bit unhappy, I reckon. Maybe I should have waited until we have the department stores here. Oh, well. Actually, I could probably keep both of these, uh, do both of the things. I'm pretty sure that we can manage the logistics. Without too many issues. Right, so over here, um...
Oh, right. Uh, should we perhaps limit this to be only certain issues, or certain things? So we don't need the crops there, or chemicals, or fabrics, alcohol. We could technically store a little bit. Don't need the components, that's for sure. Or plastics. And meat cannot be stored here, so... Okay, I think that's a decent one. Right, so this will also be delivering some food and such that will probably be produced on this side. Have we... We got quite a bit of livestock there. I've seen the resource of crops. Hold on a minute. Wouldn't you be delivering to the... Yeah, you should. Oh no, we were going to set up another one that will be providing the crops. Okay. Or were we? Yeah, you are unloading technically crops from the... Oh, but you're not loading from there. I see. That's a problem. Is this the number three? No, this is the number one. Okay, so you should be loading the crops from there. Let's see if that gets things working again. At least there's a lot of movement there. So now we can see a bit more honest estimations of how much uh, crops we will have after a year or so. Now, luckily, it's almost harvest time. I'm about a month, but that's not all that long of a time. Little Links on Fire, a road cargo station in eastern Alborostok. Oh no. Also, I'm still very much worried about the fact that in the clothing factory there's a, a smoke coming out from a window. Yeah, that was dealt with rather nicely. That's mostly just waiting over there until the harvest actually starts. Do we have anything over here that we're building? Not really. Uh, we did upgrade the road there a little bit. We can probably continue upgrading the road on this side. No oh, wheat might working. Possibly. Possibly. I mean, it might be hemp and clothing that they are working on. Oh, right, yeah, they went to refuel there. Oh, is this... Oh, there's a bit of a problem over there, so we need to send in this one working again. I wonder what they've been... I suppose it's the cement, isn't it? Yeah, the cement is uh, using a lot of gravel, so I'm going to lower the amount of workers here to 20. On the other hand, didn't we have... we got this area here, so we can start feeding... Uh, yeah, you're going to the processing plant there. We can get another dumper over here, for example. I believe we still got some over here. Send them to Javoli. Yeah, I did not see that coming. I assume that we are beyond most of the troubles already with that particular area, but I guess not. Trying to load in cement. Fair enough. And you are trying to load in electronics. How are we doing in terms of electronics anyway? Ooh. Right, because we are loading in two of the ships at the same time. Right, well, that might be a bit of a complication then. But we are working with our issues there. And over 100 workers in that place. Damn, that's pretty good. Are we doing... Okay, components are a bit low there. We may need to increase the worker size on here. Go for 75 or something like that. I didn't say some plastics. We got 40 tons over there, so no problems there whatsoever. And we got 
quite a bit of plastics over here as well as on the storage here. I believe you were the... No, you were not assigned on any tasks. At the same time, we don't have the electronics to do anything right now. Although there's one thing that I could do and that is stop the electronics export right now, for the time being anyway. Uh, where would that be that's not here? Should be unloading directly over there, so that's you, isn't it? Yeah. Now, uh, how about you go to the depot for the time being? I'll get you back at some point. But that way, we can start piling up a little bit of electronics and we can start uh, distributing them to the other cities. Just so that we don't need to import them because that's always more expensive. Well, usually more expensive. Bit of a traffic jam there, but that cleared out as soon as I started looking at it. There was the crops there, just no workers right now, but we've got 124 tons of livestock there. Right, did we get the meat storage here? Not yet, but it's underway. Just needs some workers. Now then, how much? Well, we got 500 tons over there. This one's pumping out a decent bit of power. Could be pumping even more if need be. Oh, and we got the brain storage in here. We do not have the power supply yet. Because this has not been connected to anything. Well, that would do it, yeah. Um, let's see, do we have... Uh, we can connect from here. We probably want to set up another switch somewhere around here, though. Yeah, high voltage switch down here, I reckon. Get the 15 megawatt wiring. Oh, come on. I feel like I can do better than that. There we go. Start working on that one. We'll work on that one. And then this one can go along here to take the power further along. Didn't really be a massive issue. Right, the excavator is causing a bit of a traffic jam here as well. Just a bit of shit. Oh wow, there's a lot of vehicles going down south. Probably going for the gravel, actually, for the most part. Which at least this place still has plenty. Oh, we started constructing a bit more around here, which is uh, causing some potential issues for the area. Okay, now it's turning around, and they should be going up. There we go. Oh wow, that was rude. Someone was in. Bit of a hurry there. Okay, 47,000 population. We probably have gotten some of the housing here and we got all of the roads now. So let's go ahead and deal with the footpath issues here. Well, not necessarily issues, but get the footpaths uh, the way they need to be. We get as close to that one as possible so that we can at least connect. Well, we're going to connect both of them actually. Right, I suppose I'll start over here. Seems like a logical step. Next over there, then we can get connections over there. Gonna be quite a bit of connections here into various places. You know, drag cartels and stuff like that. Yeah, the amount of population that can live in big Ukraine is going to be massive. Again, I'm pretty sure that the utilities, so to speak, will not be able to withstand the usage to quite the same degree. But that's just something that we're going to have to live with. Uh, actually, get a connection around here. I can't connect there. 
I can. No, I'm not connect to that. I suppose not. Oh, there we go. Right, can we actually, we can connect to that, and we can have a connection over here, so that they can at least go through there, that should work. Connect to that one. Right, so now we got this corner more, or, well, not quite yet, but soon. Dealt with. Right, then I suppose get some more connections down here. Can we actually get around that one? Not really. I'm pretty sure that we can get through here. Get that connection. Get that connection. Actually, we'll go a little bit around those, just so that we can get the hookback connections certainly actually fitting in there. Right, how about we do that? Can we get... Oh, come on. Can we fit through there somehow? Rather tight gap. Yeah, so... Some places where it's possible. But now the road... Okay, so... I'm not gonna even try to go through there. It's going to be a bit too difficult. Connect there. We can probably connect on this side. Although I'm going to draw this a bit further. Then we can get, have a connection down this way. Connection through there. So this is certainly going to be a bit of a maze. The idea is that it will still work, one way or another. Actually, get can we get us some curvature down here? There we go. Now then, do we need? Because we could have a footpath connection here. actually do something like this and then over here let's see we have a hookback connection there start connecting a few more houses again uh, over there we'll go on this side I swear, there is a logic to this madness. Even though it might seem a bit random every now and then where I'm drawing the lines here. Got a connection over there. Not sure if I'm gonna actually have anything in here, but. Do you have the option at least? Actually get a connection over there. And then over there. Connect to that one. Put that connection over here, okay. Right, I'm gonna go one path over there and then another one down this way. Can we get through there? I believe I did kind of calculate so that we 
should be able to get through there. Problem is that we probably won't be able to connect it now. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, actually. Oh, man. I've outsmarted myself once again. Hello, average. Two questions. When is my birthday? That would be on 26th of July. And. Well, I think. I. Well, technically, yeah, I did have a. a birthday stream last year as well, but yeah, this year I did have the birthday stream. We had a fun time playing this game, actually. But yeah, I'm. I probably will have, but I I can't really promise uh, my schedules ten years uh, ahead in time. Well, we'll see about that once uh, it's actually a bit closer, shall we? Right, can we... Ooh, we need to actually cancel that a tiny bit. Connect that one. Because we can draw a path over here. I need to connect that one. That one we do. That one we probably do as well. I, mean, I suppose we could get a footpath over here. And there. Well, at least that kindergarten is quite well covered now. Wait, the connections. Right, yeah, that was housing. I didn't forget what I put down here like an hour ago. Suppose we want to get a connection down here. Probably get a connection down this way as well. So where do we... That's the road cargo station there. Want to go around that. Trying to get the angle so it's not going back and forth too much. This is going to keep the construction officers busy for a long while, I guess. I am not familiar with impractical chokers, no. Well, I put the hydrate to 250 because it was get, started to get every now and then abused quite a bit. So I figured that for the increased demand, the prices uh, must go up. Right, 
Right, did we, we did get a connection over there, so we can actually get a footpath going along here. Get a connection over there, I suppose, and maybe... Yeah, we can get a connection over here. Well, I don't know. I have a feeling that on Black Friday, if people are actually interested about that, then they'll probably be shopping instead of looking at or watching my streams anyway. <laughs> I mean, that is also a good idea, uh, Alberto. Can't actually connect there. Never mind then. But we can connect here once we actually get a little bit rid of this one. Actually, how about Uh, well, we're still playing the history portion of this uh, nation. Unfortunately, no, there's no coupons. Right, let's see. Have I connected everything in here now that I... Oh, nope. There's still some houses over here that I did not connect. And I can actually un... Oh, and there's one house over here. Apparently I forgot. Right, now I think I've got everything connected. Oh, well, actually I should probably connect that one. Black Friday is uh, something that Americans uh, go on a shopping spree and then there's Cyber Monday and stuff like that. And it kind of is uh, in other Western countries as well, but not to the same degree. Right, so let's start building that. What is feeling like? Well, uh, for several months uh, during summertime, it's there's a lot of light, and during winter, there's not a lot of light. And then a lot depends on where you live. Oh, that grain store is on fire. That's not good. Right, so do we have... We got both of the ships here. I think I need to spread out these a little bit. So I'm going to send that one to settle the stuff already. Well, it depends what you consider nice. I mean, there's a lot of uh, beautiful nature in here, that's for sure. Although the nature is mostly just forest, but, you know, well, forest and lakes. Like, Finland is called the land of thousand lakes. Uh, in reality, it is about 300,000 lakes, but... Monday's calculated day that is expected to be the most depressive day of the year. Oh my. <laughs> well then. That's a bit unexpected turn. But at least we learned something new today. Right, so did we... I'm actually going to start building something else after that one. Maybe the passenger wagons. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, did we get any work done here yet? N oh, we are actually about to complete this, I reckon. Start on the next one. Yeah, we'll get this railroad section completed eventually. 
Now how we're we doing over here, and actually something I had in mind is I should probably set up another rail construction office somewhere around here. The reason for that is because this railway will continue first along here quite far, and then over here it's gonna it's gonna be another bridge. And they will loop around. It will basically be rather long and convoluted way to get trains uh, spread out. So we definitely need another construction office here. Because we could probably place down here somewhere. Let's uh, play a little bit closer to the railway itself. What's the city name? Well, this particular city is called Big Ukraine, but then we got a... Zagrad. Proud of. We got uh, Rommelgrad. And we got one over here that we haven't actually named. But it's just taking the name from the harbor there. Rubosia. And then, yeah, that's actually all the towns that we have so far. Looking if there was a traffic jam there, but no, it was doing all right. Have we gotten the store yet? Um, yes, we have actually. So we need to start delivering the meat down there. The garment store, yeah, you're gonna load there. You're gonna unload over there actually as well. Wait, can this store meet? No. Okay, but this should be limited to. I thought we can actually sell here. Oh crap, I realized that something that we have got in here is pubs. Well, which one are you? Right, so we don't need the components here, that's for sure. All the plastics. The food, clothing and electronics is the one that we want in this particular one. I guess I should have known that answer. My other option was to say, well, it's in the name, isn't it? Well, I decided to ask first. Where is this? Oh, oh, one of these crane stories is on fire. Oh no. Well, there's fire truck on its way. Two of them, actually. We, we did. But technically, they could have gone the other way around as well, but this is the shorter one. Okay, there we go. 24 firefighters there. Really fighting the fire away. But plenty of livestock here. We got. Oh, right, did we get the meat storage up yet? Yes, we did. So you... will start delivering meat over there. Oh, god damn it, another fire. Meat storage in Pravdo. Well, that's a coincidence. Right, and we did get this one ready so what you will do is you're gonna start loading up from there and start delivering to um there we go with 90 percent on those two and that was saved good and we actually don't have a lot of meat there that's a bit of a problem Uh, there is literally no way for me to give you a discount. So no, I'm sorry. Well, like, either it's gonna be everyone or everyone. And I don't want to go and uh, fiddle with the settings midstream. Okay, we've got 1700 
people, I suppose, uh, we've got any more housing here. Oh, yeah, we have. Okay, uh, I suppose, probably proud of it's the more likely option to have extra people. Ah, uh, that's 600. We'll actually take that one, for example. Start moving a bit more people on this side. There we go. A little bit extra as soon as we... Oh right, yeah, we got the department store up here already. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Uh, okay, so do we have electronics piling up again? No, not yet. Both of these ships are still here waiting. And what are you wait? Oh no, you're waiting for components. And you are waiting for steel for that compo- Oh no. Okay. Um, what's the problem with the steel then? Probably being picked up. Hold on, so where are you taking it? They're taking it to the open storage down here. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's probably up to the- Oh wow! There's been a couple of hydras there that I did not notice for some reason. Sorry about that, Commandos. Yes, there is uh, quite a few. But, like, viewers can hydrate whenever there's a hydrate, or without a hydrate e anyway. Yeah, the reason why I often don't notice that is because I'm actually you looking at my chat on my uh, Streamless Chatbots console. And that doesn't list those, so it's pretty easy to miss. I do have the Twitch uh, dashboard on next to it, but it's just further to the left, so away from the game, so it's easy to just check the chat there. Sorry about that. Okay, we're about to hit 48,000 population, not too bad. Do we have... we don't have workers over here yet waiting, but that's fine. Right, so you have probably unloaded plenty of uh, meat down here, haven't you? Oh, yeah. And both of the trucks are now heading to Rommelgrab by the looks of it. Right, so over here we... Hmm. The fact that we don't have steel is a problem. It's a big problem. Now we do have plenty of steel over here that should just be transported over here, but there's just not a massive storage available right now. Right, I think the bigger problem now is just that we need to get the... Hmm. So that's the power line going to the power or the steel mill. There's one way to do that would be to drag it around that instead. I don't actually know. That's I don't think that's actually going to help at all. But yeah, we could empty this area here and get the unload station over here, so we can have a bit more trucks at the same time in here. Where are you taking that? Upstate, okay, so you're part of the building crews. And you are taking that to Propova. Oh, you're taking to Propova, is it? Oh, right, you're taking from... The okay. And I'm guessing that is being used for the... Salina Distribution Office and Propoa um, Distribution Office, so that means that there's... This is taking it to the rail construction, which is probably what's using a lot of the steel right now. We've got 22 million, which isn't too bad. Uh, actually, has the travel situation improved now? Well, that, 
Mm, not really. Oh, right, because we never actually assigned these. Did we get the excavators in these? Uh, we did. I suppose, uh, dumper... Hold on. Uh, which area is this? This would be... Gorzin. Gorzin? Quarry. Find another one for that. Gonna be a long trip anyway, and then I suppose over here... Oh, the truck is now busy elsewhere. Now we do have workers in there, so even though... There's no truck, it's still working. Actually, we're at pretty good speed. Well, as long as there is workers there. I suppose we could improve the speed even more if we have more workers. Oh no, actually the excavator is taking part in that, never mind. Let's have a look, how quickly is it now with this? Yeah, it's still pretty much the same speed. It doesn't matter how much workers there are, so the excavator is basically what is doing all the work there. Understandable to be fair. Ah, oh, we got some domestic crops here. Excellent. Is that that is full right now? Oh, that's on fire. Oh no. There's a quite a bit of oil over there. I'd prefer it not burn up. Right. So I think there's a problem here now that. Most of these things are taking the steel directly from there, whereas the industry is taking from here, and this is also being used by the... Right, um... You're the one that is taking the steel, isn't it? Yeah, you're loading steel, and loading stuff there. If we instead set up a... Actually, which office is it bringing there? I suppose it's not... I don't... No, it could be this one. Oh yeah, you are unloading there. Um, is that the... Yeah, that's the distribution office and all the trucks are in use right now. Now, to be fair, I do have an idea. And it involves a train. Right, so uh, this one's the Propova Open Storage number two. So we're going to remove that from the. Remove that connection. Because we're going to unload over there with a train. And luckily, we have just such a train available. So we will erase from that line, go to the steel mill. You can carry quite a bit of steel, actually. Yeah, you'll go there, until loaded. And then what you'll do is you will go down there and unload wait until loaded. Oh, so that's going to cause some problems for a little while. But once we have it unloading over there, I mean, it's going to take a while to actually build that one up. That should lower at least some of the problems with that. That's on fire. Well, luckily the fire station... Oh, that was probably something that was already dealt with. Never mind. Been too busy not to pay attention to those messages, I suppose. Right, so we got some of the services over there. Well, plenty of... Actually, how much? Already almost 12,000 population in Beaker Crane. Oh, there's already 100 adults living with their parents. Alright, then, probably somewhere around here. Uh, it's at least filling up again. That's a good sign. Oh, uh, hmm. We might have reached 50,000 today. Let's see, so we got 
Uh, how many... Oh, we've got 600 over here that we could move out. Alright then, I'll take one of the houses at least and empty it. Oh, that's already full. Not this one then, and probably that one. Uh, I suppose that will do. Right, so how... Ooh, that's pretty close to the station. Closer and closer. That's also getting closer and closer. Is there a train around here yet? No. But... Actually... These are both ways. Yeah, they are. So, let us set up a... Yeah, those are chain signals, which is fine by me. Except... Regular signals on this side. Although, actually, well, the chain signal should still work. Good agree. They won't be sending anyone over here unless this area is clear. Right, so we got the buses over here. Do we have. I think you're going to be transporting some people, and you know what? We'll go around here. Go to the waypoint. Drop people there. Drop people there, and there. And then you can go over there again. And we got the radio station here, which is currently on fully on cultural enjoyment. I think you want to increase the education strength at least. A decent bit. And Soviet propaganda a little bit. Oh wow, almost everyone in the population has a radio. Not bad. Ratings are a bit bad over here still, but... Oh, we need to increase that quite a bit to increase... Okay. We increase the... Usually for sports. I think the education strength needs to go up even further. I think something that like that will work. For the most Oh. Uh are we running out of power or something? No? It might be just not enough people there working or something like that. This. Oh well, I'll leave that be. I'm sure that they'll get more people there eventually. Right, so did we... Oh yeah, we did start working on that one. Uh, working on the power lines, so we'll get this one working eventually. Our plant is working on full speed, and they still got plenty of coal waiting there. It's being unloaded right now. Right, so is the train waiting in here somewhere? Technically it should be, but... I can't see from that side. What about if we zoom in a little bit? No, nope, seems empty. Oh, did I not send it? I probably didn't send it then. That's the likely option. No, I did. Not there. Oh, well, that is mysterious. Maybe it is actually there, just not showing. Oh, yeah. It is waiting there. It has rather large amount of steel there. It's now leaving the station. I'm a bit surprised that they managed to hide such a train inside there. Well, I guess it's just a visual glitch. Or, well, not necessarily even a glitch, really. lowering the stuff that they need to render. And the locomotive, exactly. Right, how much do we have over here? We've got 40 tons of meat. I'm guessing the situation in Rommel Crowd isn't too bad in terms of meat now. Or at least I hope so. Let's actually have a look. Um, this year, imports meat, it has certainly gone down. It hasn't stopped entirely, but it has certainly gone down. 
And the food, of course, is still massive, as well as crops and many other things. Also a little bit fuel, but not too bad. And some electronics. Well, those were stuff that are instantly built, I believe. What was the electro components? Clothing is a bit... Well, I suppose Big Ukraine is mostly using foreign clothing right now. I guess I shouldn't, shouldn't really be surprised. Okay, so there's another house there. Follow it, surely. They are expanding pretty much everything there. So, how are we doing in terms of steel here? You are taking steel to... Which one? To the center of storage, good. So we'll at least have a little bit of steel to work with. Another thing that I could do, another thing that would be fun is if there was a way to have multiple trains like, uh, or like a train distribution office essentially is what I'm thinking, is if you could have um, like either go to place A or B depending on which one needs uh, steel more, so I could be bring in steel directly here. That would lower some of the traffic jams. Oh wow, speaking of traffic jams. Unless we'll get some coal in there. In the meanwhile, they are at least getting some steel out of there. Although the train just arriving to the station again. But it's going to take a while before it's completely full, which... Oh, now I can see it. Maybe I was just too far away for the, it to be rendered. That's a possibility. Because, yeah, it is there. Okay, the iron is piling up, so there wasn't really a massive shortage of iron, but that's fine. There's already 12,000 population there, not bad. Actually, one thing that I don't have is to see what's the situation in here in terms of that. Oh, and we're getting a small clinic here. Oh, did we not have any hospitals here? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, we have a bit of a low population around here. That might be part of the reason. Hmm. Right, how about we use some cash to build this one up? And then get some... Ambulances in there. Oh, well, one ambulance. I just need some staff. And then they can start treating patients. Right, well that's one place that we can dump more people into. 500 there, how about Insagra? I reckon we got... We got 700 there, okay. Uh, I suppose we could empty this one first. I mean, it is right across the bay anyway. There's not really a massive distance. I'll get one from here. Clean up the buildings here a little bit. Right, so is the steel mill... Ooh, it actually doesn't have a massive amount of workers right now, so is there a problem perhaps with the Rommelkrat delivering the workers in here? Although there is some... Oh, actually. How much do you have? You've got 128, so it's not a small amount. How much does this one have? 73 tons of steel, and it's growing. It's certainly growing. There are also some... No, actually, there's no trucks there right now. So it's the train only being filled up right now, and it's not actually filling up all that quickly. It's a decent speed, but it could certainly be faster. Oh, you don't have a massive amount of workers, so we may have uh, met our limit, more or less. Although, actually, we have a bus here. How about... Um, take workers from there, and take them there. To increase the steel production a tiny bit. That should help a little bit. Right, so we're almost... 49,000 population now, yeah, we're gonna hit the 50,000 today. Is there 
that one has not started or been under construction yet. So how about we select this thing? Temperature is a bit too low. Oh well, boohoo. Drink a bit more water candy, you'll be fine. We can't build that one yet. Can't really build these two either. Those are already under construction. And technically, we could go over here. Start building those two. We can go around the station there. Alright, oh, a lot of workers from here are actually just helping with the buildings there. So I'm not sure. Oh, there are still workers waiting there. Not massive amounts, but they are still there. And did we get the... We got a decent bit of crops waiting here. This one needs workers, though. And... Oh. You have two bosses, but you have not been bringing workers over here lately. I see. Well, this area is slowly building up, though. Uh, we're getting the harvest already done. We're actually done most of the harvest here. Which means that there's probably plenty of crops here waiting. Uh, about a thousand tons. And livestock is almost full there. A little bit, oh, quite a bit of meat there waiting. There's one truck going to take more to the Stellino. That one's missing steel. How's the steel production going anyway? Because the train is not there. But we are loading in more. And I'm going to increase the max workers here again. Let's go to the complete maximum. I don't think we'll meet all hard workers for that quite yet. But uh, if we get a little bit closer, that's fine by me. Right, so another thing that I was wondering is... Can I get the... The pack connection around here as you reach there. I don't know is the question or oh, problem. If I want to go around this area, I mean Hmm. At the same time, actually this place might be closer. Can you reach both of these? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily matter too much if we cut down that one. Let's get rid of those. Get the conveyor belt. And it needs to be aggregate unloading. Please tell me that you can fit in there. Probably in a way that you can actually connect to there. Okay, if we start building that, can we get a conveyor belt? Oh, no, not quite. Nope. Okay, well, this is going to be worthless then. Or pointless rather than worthless. Although, if we were to connect this one to there, we can actually set up a double connection here. No, we actually cannot. Right, well, how about we cancel that Belt. Can we connect to that one now? Yes, we can. And can we get a unloading on this side? It's the better question, I reckon. We fit it there. Ah, but the road is going to be in the way. Okay, is there anything else that I could do? How about? We get rid of these two again. And try to get a little bit closer. It is a bit of a tricky place though, so I'm not entirely sure that we'll be able to do this. Okay, um... How about... We'll place you there. 
We're getting rid of the road for a few moments. For all the conveyor belt. Oh, it were, oh, no. Oh, it's a power line that is the problem. Okay, I'm going to try something. This may end up being a bit costly. Nope, not for pads. Conveyor belts. Oh no, you gotta be choking. So if that doesn't work. Quickly unpause and then re pause so we don't lose too much time there. Pull that one. Can we get the unloading on this side now? Actually, I have an idea. Let's uh, cancel the conveyor belt first. If we can get the unloading up. Oh, now it would be linking at least. Not to the correct one though, is the problem. Nope. Oh, and now it's not linking at all. It needs to be this one. And if we place you there, you can't go there. Damn it. This is a very convoluted system. As I said, this may be a big mistake I'm doing here. But I want to believe that I can get this working one way or another. Actually, if we take out the wires down here, that might give us the room that we need. Looks like it. But if we track it as close to there as possible, it might give enough room for the road to go below it again. Huzzah! Because I'm going to use cash to build that one. We need to use cash to build the conveyor belts. They're going to be a, a fair bit of money. And then we just need to get the power lines somehow there. We're using these ones, haven't we? Oh, actually. No, it's the 13 by the looks of it. So can we get a connection through here somehow? Um... If we go around the <laughs> place here, then yes, we can. Oh, no. That works. There's a bit of infrastructure in the way, but that's something that we can work with. Right, so can we actually... No, so we need to go all the way around. That's not a massive issue, though. There we go. So yes, it's convoluted as all hell. It's very expensive. But hey, it works. That's all that matters right now. Can we actually... Hold on a minute. Oh no, building is in the way. So I don't think we can get a footpath going through there, but they can use that one at least. Oh right, and we need to use cash to build that one. And this one. We don't have to, but I'd like to use it. And that one. There we go. So now we have connections again. So which one is it that is... Is it this one that is doing the unloading there? Of coal? Um, steel mill. No, that's sawmill. Brick factory. Steel mill. Unload. Okay, so you don't need to unload there. We'll start unloading the coal directly over there instead. 
So, unload. Go for 90% on coal. Right, so buying a lot of resources there, but my goodness, if we can get this working the way it needs to be working, then this is going to be perfectly okay. I just need to start getting the trucks over there instead of here. So the train is already here, being loaded up. This loading up? Oh yeah, it is. Right, I was just waiting for Siege, the first uh, dumper over here, unloading coal. And they're already on their way. But this way we can have at least guaranteed two trucks unloading stuff there at a time. Now still going over there. That might be the trucks from the other one though. Now this one. So you don't go to the steel mill. You will instead go over there. Unload all to 90%. Okay. Now the travel time is going to be a bit longer, but the unload time is not. It should be alright in the long run. I mean, it's going to take a while to stabilize a little bit after all that fiddling around, but. Oh, and it's already October, so it needs to. Well, it seems to be getting winter soon. Oh no, buildings on fire. Road cargo station over here, oh. Okay, well, we do have the fire station over here, and we do have plenty of vehicles in there, and workers. And speaking of, yeah, there's more room over here that people could move into, or from these areas, but there's probably not a lot of adults in the parents right now. No, there's currently zero. And that's been sorted out, so how much? Do have another thousand tons of crops there? Plus, we probably have some over here. Yep, we got 700 tons of crops there. Still gathering up. That's without power supply because we have not got on that one yet. We need to get some more buses for the construction offices there. So, do we have? Let's set up some. Uh, um, I suppose that's IKR. Two five sixes. That's going to be the next one that we'll produce until further notice. Actually, we've got one of these here. I'm not entirely sure. We haven't started getting the steel here yet, which means that our electronics production is still lagging quite a bit. That is costing us a fortune. But how much do we have steel at the storage now? I reckon it's... Oh! It's actually not all that full, so we are using a lot of steel for the rail construction by the look of it. Okay, so that's what's taking all of our steel. I suppose I sh shouldn't really be surprised, to be fair. They have been working quite a bit. Oh, we've actually gone through there, so we've got another connection to this one. I do need to set up some of the diamond around here at some point. Well, we do have one over there. I don't necessarily need one around here. Right, so over here we got some passengers. There is at least one bus going around, but we we'll probably need another one. No workers are waiting over there. There is some over there, but not massive amounts. And Steel Mill now has almost 300 workers. Fairly consistently. Actually, now it's over 300 workers, and it's probably going to go closer to 400 with a couple more buses. Although, some people should be leaving soon. Right, so what is the coal situation here? It's a bit low. But so is the iron situation, quite frankly. 
Even though we are mining a lot of iron, but it's just we are also using a lot of iron. Not to mention coal, because coal is used even more than iron, and we only... The coal mine actually is even worse than the iron mine. Right, so I think that's one of the problems that we have here. You are still unloading the travel quite nicely. We got... It's, okay, it's about half full. Right, so now that those areas are kind of... Well, other than power is still a problem. How's this? Ship still... Okay, 16,000 workdays left on that one. That's going to take a while. Are we... We are good on plastics at least, but... Electronics... Com or, uh, electro components is missing steel still. Which is a problem, most certainly. Okay, well, there's at least a little bit still. I'm guessing this is going for the open storage here. Yep. That's 13 tons of steel at least. You are loading up some more steel there. You are taking to Road Cargo Station 2. I'm not entirely sure where that is. Container loading facility is on fire. Well, luckily we got fire station right across the road. Here we go, that's been saved. Oh, we got workers over here, but we don't have anything in here to put into containers. Right. Fair enough. I don't think we need workers over here, though. Not right now. Eventually, yes, but not right now. These trucks are having a bit of wait time there while the rail construction is going. In all fairness, it's not necessarily a terrible thing. There's the train still here. Yep. Slowly loading up. Now there are a few ways... Oh, it did actually unload steel over here rather recently. But the truth is they are using it around... Oh, wait a minute. Are they taking... Oh, they're taking to Javola. Exports. Right, that's... You know what? Um, the loading from that one... You know what? Um, Javola open storage. We take that one... Right, so they won't be unloading there for a while. That means a bit less exports. But we need to... Oh. Oh no. Is there a fire trucks there? Yeah, there are. And that's already been saved, actually. Never mind then. But yeah, we need to let the steel accumulate a little bit. Oh, there's quite a few more houses that have been completed. Uh, oh, right, they've got the crane here, so that's speeding things up quite nicely. Well, not a lot of steel there. Because the train is still waiting here. I mean, I suppose as soon as we get... How got on that? Oh, and we've done pretty good work over here, okay. As soon as we can reach that one, we'll set up the train to bring in the steel directly here, and then we're going to utilize that to unload into various places as well. I like that idea a bit more. Oh heck, we can even have it, the train so that it goes between the two stations. Like one here and then another one at uh, Propova. That certainly help with the logistics at least a little bit. Now to be fair, since we've gotten these tracks here for the most part completed. I mean there's all the way to here it's entirely completed. Then over here there's a little bit of room still. Right, let's actually start setting up some of the signals here. That's actually one way can we we cannot fit in chain signals there. We're going to have to use the last change signal here. And then that can be a regular uh, one way, I suppose. Is there... Yeah, they should be able to switch at least around here and over there. That's not really the problem. 
then that can be... Actually, it needs to be change signal, doesn't it? There, there's a diamond over there. Good. So we can set up a chain down here. And a semaphore or regular one over there. So that's dividing it at least to the area that we are still constructing. Actually, I could set up a another area over here. I'm going to set up signals over here. These are going to be just the regular ones for the time being. Oh, right, there was a the truck over there. Because I know that we don't need to go around here other than for construction purposes yet. So we can leave that be as it is. But we can focus on this side then. Set up lights down here, I suppose. And then over here we'll set up a chain signal. And then a regular one. Put in a chain signal over here. One over there. Then we're going to have these be two ways. Oh, right, we got another train here, actually. Right, let me send you down to the station. Or depot, rather. Be able to, oh, you're trying to figure out how to get away. Oh, I see. Because you didn't realize to switch or stay on the other rail or that. Okay, um. So where are you trying to head to? Going to the unfinished... Okay. Um, let's just make these into two-way ones then. For the time being. You'll probably want to have both of these change signals then. But that's a two-way. Make that a two-way as well. Okay, that should fix the issue. There we go. That was actually rather smooth on the locomotive's part. Unloading the coal there. How are we doing in terms of coal here? Uh, it's a bit low. It's a bit low. Okay, now we've got two truckloads there, so it's doing a little bit better. With How much does the train now have? 20 tons. Not a massive amount. That's for sure. We haven't reached this far. To be fair... Hmm. We're going to need some signal somewhere around here. I'm not entirely sure where. Can we get them into the between area? Nope. So it's going to have to be on this side, most likely. There's only one target that you can go from here, so it can probably be... One of those, and can they switch somewhere around here? I believe they can, but well, they don't need to because it's going to be the correct rail anyway. But the chain signal can be one directional as well. I actually wonder, should I? How much would it cost to do these? 24,000. But I'm pretty sure that most of these are not assigned to any of the offices right now. If we do that, we now have a connection to there. We can say I collect the steel train there. Then you go, okay, so you go to the cargo train station. Then we go over there again, load uh, steel. Well, I mean, anything is technically fine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move down there and unload wait until it unloaded there we go 
And then we're going to select... Uh, are you you selected to take that? So I'm just going to set that as a source as well. Yes, you will be loading steel from there and dividing it elsewhere. That will at least alleviate some of the logistics. We can maybe get the electronics production going full speed again. Well, not full speed, but better speed anyway. And how much do we have exports waiting here? I'm guessing since we haven't been getting as much steel here, it has dropped quite significantly. Yeah, it certainly has, but I'm going to send one of these out just to make sure that we are still getting some money. And we probably have some liquids, to be fair, that we could go... And, ooh, yeah, there's certainly bitumen. That one out, I'm guessing on the other area, there's also some exports to be had. At least bitumen and fuel. I'm just going to send both of these out. They may collide a little bit there. Luckily, there's not going to be any actual collision. But that's been up and running for a while. There's no room in the kindergarten. It's not fully staffed, but not really actually all that bad. And another auto save. Alright then. So how bad has this be year been monetarily? We've done a bit of a deficit, but at the same time we have bought quite a few vehicle blueprints as well as some vehicles. So I suppose it's not a huge surprise. I haven't made any dollars yet, but we will be doing some... Hopefully... Uh, a bit of a long trip to be fair, so I'm not entirely sure if we'll get that this year or is it going to be the start of next year. Right, so have we done any work over here? We have done work to reach that at least. We started. We have not started on that one. Well, let's have a look. You got a um, few things that you are working on. What about you? You've got two places that you are working on. All right then. I mean, if the distribution is decent there is not too bad like if they're not trying to work on the same thing at the same time right then uh, the hospital is working doesn't have a massive enough patience but that's fine it's gonna need to be <laughs> in fairly good order as soon as we get all the population in here that we are about to get actually since there's so many houses let's go ahead and move a bit more population there so the crowd has 300 not necessarily worth moving uh, Proud of, we can probably move some of the people. Like empty another house or so. There we go. Oh wow, yeah, we, we are certainly hitting 50,000. Not necessarily this year, but next year certainly. And uh, we're doing. Oh, right. Did we get any of the buses yet? We have some. I'm guessing there's no room there, but we can certainly send some over here. The workers, you're gonna get from there. That should be a little bit better. Beat up some of the construction, especially the constructions around here just really need some workers. Especially this one. Which we need to probably assign the other one as well for this place. Oh, and it might help if we set up the search range for at least two kilometers now on both of these. Yeah, we're still at 50,000. It's just since the terrain is limiting quite a bit. And we don't actually have that many uh, residential areas in all fairness. Like with the three towns that we've... Uh, or the starting town, then Pravdov and then Romokrad. We had uh, somewhere between 33 and 35,000 pretty constantly and we didn't expand much for a long while so that did slow down us a little bit in terms of growth, but at the same time it gave us some time to actually increase our productions. 
Are they still missing the steel? The train is not here yet. Slowly cleaning the wagons though, so that's good. So we can set up a passenger train at some point. Which actually might not be a terrible idea to use it over here. That would allow us to get a bit more workers for the steel mill. As well as some other industries around here. Actually have a look, where can you reach? You can't reach the mines. You can reach the processing facilities and about half of the construction material places here. Yeah, it's a decent population for that amount of times. You're not wrong. And I mean, uh, the two other towns that we are building, then, I mean, these are not full yet, so it's just slowly filling up. I mean, this side is pretty decent already, but the southern side of Big Ukraine, ooh, low temperatures. Ah, capacity problem. Uh, is there, okay, here the temperature is a bit low. That is certainly a problem, as I was afraid of it would be. Right, well, there are a few ways to go around that. Um, pumping station. Get a connection somewhere around here. Then we can cancel the pipe around here. Connection down here will connect to that one. And then I suppose we could take the middle one first. Connect there. Some cash to get that, and then we'll also use some cash to get this completed. And that one. But now it should get a bit higher temperatures in there, although I'm not entirely sure. Is this. Oh, there's no one working there. Okay, yeah, that's the problem then. Um, right, uh, do we have... We don't have an extra bus there. Do we have extra buses around here yet? We do have one. Then you speak Ukraine. Otherwise, we may have some... Some devastating uh, losses, so to speak. We got some workers over there. Oh, right, yeah. Well, we got some workers over there as well. The fact that we are out of power supply a lot of time is uh, turning to say at least. Right, so you should be dropping some workers over there so we'll get some workers at the heating plant and the power plant. A lot of students going around. Okay, now we got some workers over here so the temperature should be rising. Yeah, minibuses are handy for that, that's true. I could, on the other hand, uh, which ones have I set to go here? There's three buses. You are one of them, so if you go over there and don't pick up students or passengers, That should also work. Many buses plus regular lines. Yeah. That would certainly work. I don't actually have a lot of mini buses right now. You're taking quite a few workers there. You took everyone. Right, did we get the... No, it's not here yet. Do we have workers on here? Uh, where's the bus stop? Over there. Nope. To be fair, I wasn't really expecting to, there to be anyone either. Are you bringing more workers? Yes, 45. 
No, but you're taking to the road construction. Bring another five workers over here. Well, it's better than nothing. Oh wow, it's practically empty right now. Is it because everyone's dead? Uh, pretty much. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Been about 9,000 deaths, 1,700 escapes in nine days. I've seen better days here, yeah. Well, at least we got a decent bit of the infrastructure in here in place, so next summer we can set up things a little bit better. Right, yeah, we never connected that to anything. That's fine, we don't necessarily need it right now anyway. Rookie numbers. Um, but actually these are more than what we had, uh, well, true Soviets did do better than that, sure. The thing is, I'm pretty sure that, oh. Yeah, the power shortage is because, uh, most of the power is used before it reaches here. And the power plant needs workers. If it's not working, then nothing's working. Like, we do have another power plant over there, which is working in full speed, but it just can't reach that far. Right, so over here we still have... Like, it's uh, mostly that city. I'm pretty sure that over here we got things in fairly good order. For the most part, kindergarten is a problem, but other than that, that area is still pretty good. I'm sure it's a bit too low. Okay. Yeah, nope. There's basically no one living in the city anymore. Right, I guess we won't be reaching the 50,000 yet. We were close. We were close. There's a bit of a sharp drop there. Like a quarter of our population did. Or escaped. Now, to be fair, I did select or get the mod for the power plant. Perhaps get a small turbine in here. They're actually... Problem is, where could we link it up to the system? Now, it does need some workers, so it can't be too far away, but I suppose I could make a small wind farm here. To work with global warming, yeah, I suppose. So we'll set up something like this here. Let's get one of the uh, medium voltage switches. Right about there. A yeah, gravel path or gravel road connection there. We can start working on that one already. Now these may be a bit overpowered. Perhaps, but we'll see. Well, actually, no. Hold on a minute. 14 megawatt hours of power to build dams then yeah probably that uh, would work uh hold on so let's compare that to the regular power plant oh no 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 it's one percent of it okay so we can these are not overpowered then especially the small ones Actually, get up second setup over here somewhere. Actually, we're gonna have a medium voltage switch down here somewhere. We could even have a switch down here 
So we'll gather those up into just one. Yeah, it will help up a little bit, that's true. Well, it doesn't need to be particularly big wires either. Save up a little bit in the steel. We just need to get the gravel road connection here, and I suppose I'll take it from this side. That's already connected. Right, and then we need to get the footpath connections. And that's going to be relatively easy, at least. Okay, that's, uh... Hold on, can we not? Okay, we need to cancel a little bit of that. Go and get through here. Connect to that one. These will take some workers, though. But not massive amounts. Actually, I could probably set up a bit bigger wind farm over here. Although, well, it might be close enough to at least some of the population here. And no workers over here, so I'm pretty much uh, rather certain that this is now a ghost town. I mean, uh, there's never been any people here. You heard something, it's fake news. We get some medium turbines here, so these are going to provide twice the power, so it's going to be... Um, one point something. A bit more than one uh, megawatt uh, per hour. Oh, right. It is actually a bit bigger there. Um, one over there. Hmm. Right, so we're going to have the... Wait, is there... No, I don't think I have any mods that allow different uh, power lines. Yeah, um, I didn't look at that mod yet, but I did read something about it existing. assign these relatively close by each other. We just need to get some switches again. Uh, they do need workers, but it's very small amounts of workers, so they won't be working right now. But once we get some population in here, they will. See if we where's mm hmm. Now this is gonna be the tricky part, getting the switches in here. Oh, we can actually. Oh right, so that's where we can't build. Actually, it's probably easier. Well, place up one there, and place up a second one here. The third one down. Oh right, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Down there, and then we can link up to there. One of these, I suppose, should be more than enough. And we can utilize these to gather up the R from these. No, you don't want to link there. Okay, no.
Yeah, I, I don't know how they work. Probably have to take a look at some point. So let's say we place you down here then. Oh, is that too close? Oh, Christ. Okay. They're not there. How about we just take you down here instead? True, that is very much true. Okay, so this is not an angle that we're going to work with, but we can rotate this one. Now that we know what we need to do. Connect that one there. And this one can connect there. Then we just need to connect these two. And we can start building all of these power lines. We just need to connect the various things into a... Hold on, can we get through there? Well, that may be an issue. Apparently we can. As you go over there, so if we continue... Ooh. Hold on a minute. I saw green there somewhere. There you are. Right, so we can build those, and then we just need to get the footpath in here. True, it works usually. There are some exceptions, but yeah, I probably should have done the road first. Not wrong there. But I have to make sure that the power lines can actually connect to the things that they need to connect. Right, so over here we can't actually fit through there, can we? Apparently not. Right, so we probably need to get this... Ooh, hold on. We need to think about this a little bit. Where can we get around this? Oh, right, and that needs to be connected. Well, we can cancel a little bit of that and connect there. There we go. Should be within reach of at least some of the houses here. Right then. So let's have a look at how bad the last year was then. 24 million in imports. Oh Christ. Um, what about electronics and crops? Crop wasn't too bad actually. Then food. Food imports did drop dramatically at the end of the year. I wonder why. Luckily the vehicles don't need people in there. As soon as the temperature drops, we can probably bring in enough workers here again. Especially on this. Actually, where's the bus that is taking workers to the... Uh, needs to be this Alino one. None of those two. But the problem is that they're all piling up here, so let me pause for a moment so we can actually have a look. So we already got... went through those. Ah, oh, you. You will go back there for the time being. I'm pretty sure that we'll have a decent bit of uh, population available in various other places. Also, have we brought in the steel here? We probably have done once. 
I hope that we have done ones. Oh, you're trying to figure out where to go. Oh, right. Um, hmm. I realize what's the problem. I'll get the railway crossing there. I suppose we could get a crossing in here. And from there they can switch. Okay, so now they can actually switch rails. Oh no, I didn't use the cash for that. Well, that's going to fix one of the problems. Get over there, then you switch on that one. There we go. I shouldn't have died. Um, uh, yes, possibly. I've heard that eating snow is the new inn. Right, so of course we don't have a massive amount of meat over here anymore. On the other hand, there's not a massive amount of consumption of meat either. Actually have a look. Um, last year, meat, how much? It did drop. Not quite as much as I hoped for, but it did drop. Did we get... There's still quite a bit of crops there. Are you unloading those to... This is the one number. Okay, so we need to increase that to be a bit higher. So we'll get the crops from here. Which may have been a small problem there already. Maybe. Right, so the train at least left. We got plenty of coal here. Not a massive amount of workers, unfortunately. But we do have at least some steel waiting there and it's being trucked elsewhere. How is the coal storage? Well, that's pretty much full. Right, so there's actually... These are working... A lot of the dumpers are not really that busy right now. Some of them are, but not all of them. They are waiting cement over there. I wonder if the cement... Well, the ship is here. Not that one, that's the electronics finally in here. It's slowly filling up. Do we have gravel? No, 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 we don't. We do have workers here, just not enough quarry stone. Which, frankly, is a problem. At least we are... Well, we could be producing a fair bit in there. Don't have a massive amount of vehicles, though. That are bringing in. So, how about you go to the... I guess Javoli Quarry. To help alleviate the problems there. So, do we have more population here that we can move? Oh, we do have a little bit. Right, I suppose one thing that went wrong here is there were, were way too many buildings around here which meant that there wasn't enough workers over there and the fact that we were taking a fair bit of the workers elsewhere plus dropping them into various places here so yeah, just too many places being built at the same time is the problem. Well, on the bright side we can get the population growing rather quickly once we get everything in here. Oh, and did we... We have not started unloading over there. How about we do that? Um, there. Only 50%, that should be alright. Also 50%, that's gonna be 50%. That's 50%. Must there, we didn't get another store over here, did we? No, and even if we did, it didn't, wouldn't matter right now.
Okay, there's a longer line of trucks going out in and out from the here now, so that's good. Get the crops out of the way. Actually, have a look. How much did we produce uh, last year in crops? 8,500. Actually, less than usual. I think it's less than usual anyway. I wonder what's wrong with that then. Oh well. But we'll find out eventually. Here we go. Plenty of coal there. As soon as we get some population here and they get working. Oh right, we're getting a bit more railroad over here. Good. Oh, we got through that already as well. Good. Eventually we'll reach over here and actually this is a place where we need to have the construction office over here. Oh, you're actually delivering the excavator. Excellent. Right, and we have got on another million of dollars, so that's good. Do we have exports available here? We do have more fuel. Of course, the fuel ship is still heading back. Here we have gotten a little bit more work done. I'm guessing the lack of steel is still very much a thing. On the other hand, ah, we're not lacking steel over here anymore, so that means that the electronics production is going forward with a good speed. Also, the plastic production is still doing perfectly fine as well as the components. Okay, so at least this production is now actually recovering. That's good. Oh, there's a pair of vehicles going around here. Okay, so the temperatures are still in the negatives. I think we're going to have to wait until at least March before we can move in people here. Yeah, otherwise it's going to be too cold. Maybe even April. We'll move like, I don't know, maybe 2,000 people. That's going to be enough to see the initial services that are required. I will see it only this side first. Once that's filling up again at good speed, then we're going to start utilizing this side. But in the meanwhile, at least the construction officers in Stalino have done pretty good work on getting the missing... Well, there's still some footpaths and such that are missing, but, you know, a lot of progress has been done. Yeah, the temperatures are still <laughs> rather cold. Well, not massively cold, but still cold. Well, 400 tons of crops there. How much do we have here waiting? A bit over a thousand. Maybe 1100. Ons, that is. Buildings on fire. Oh no. Eating plants. Okay, well, the fire truck should be able to reach. Oh, taking the long way out. Oh, there's uh, three trucks are coming in here. No one's currently hurt, although the longer it's on fire, the less the heat is going to be providing. And now there's one injured person there. There we go. And return the heating. And over here, I'm guessing... Yeah, it went pretty low in temperature, but it's fixing itself now. Although there seems to be some issues with the power over there as well. Could be some of the harbors taking a lot of power every now and then. Which is why we need to get this power plant working and the windmills over here. Do 
We've got Thousand Adults with their parents, so we can move at least a fair bit of people. And at the same time, I'm sure that we can move actually a little bit extra. Okay, so now it's no longer freezing. Well, it's about to be freezing again, I suppose. Uh, let's have a look at this year. Ooh. Right, we haven't actually exported anything. Well, other than the fuel. We have a quick look at this side. Probably send this one out. And then we got these two ships. Ooh, yeah, they haven't been getting a lot of steel, so that is certainly hurting the exports. I'm gonna have to send one of them out though. Oh, you're again waiting the. Oh, right, because you can't switch to any of those. Right, um. I have a cunning plan. There is not on that area. It's a very unorthodox solution. But it will work. Now you should be heading out. And do we have steel waiting here? We've got 20 tons of steel. There we go. This is like a spaghetti railroad. Anyone that's played Factorio know that spaghetti um, conveyor belts are certainly a thing. Right, so we should be getting some more steel over here. That's going to be good because it's going to be used probably rather quickly. We've got on some buses over here, but we have. Well, I'll get some more dumpers. Maybe a couple cisterns and open holes. And then a couple jobs. Actually, what's the popular. Oh, okay, we've got 10,000 kids, 6,000 babies, and 18,000. Well, technically, 19,000 adults. This, okay, that has plenty of fuel there, good. Oh, and we got on the rail connection all the way here. Nice. Right, but one thing that I realized is if we want to connect to... Right, we can't actually unload anything else but containers directly there. We'll have to set up another container loading facility somewhere, which might be on this side actually. Like, there's going to be the railway over here anyway, so we can probably set up a connection there that will be setting up things into containers and then the trains will take the containers elsewhere. Assuming that the container facility can have a rail connection. I'm assuming it can. No. Okay, well, we're going to have a station connected to one of these. Not the end of the world. Right, we are getting at least a lot of the ground works done on these uh, things, but we have not gotten any of the windmills completed. The temperatures... Ooh, it's still going down it's below freezing. I think we're going to wait for one more month, then we'll start bringing people here. Or maybe mid March, depending. Basically, as soon as we reach, say, 15 degrees Celsius, and I think it's going to be safe to bring in people. So, as, assuming that they'll get working on the power plant and the heating plant as soon as possible. Wait, where are, Oh, right, yeah, you're taking workers down this way. Well, running empty right now, but. Once we get everything over here working, actually, I suppose I could start loading meat directly there if I want to. Although these, this is basically just for the delivering the crane, 
I could set up another port over here which can load in some goods that can be delivered to other ports like meat and food and alcohol. Is that going for more? No, that's taking the cement now and you still got plenty of electronics waiting there. Right, so both of these are going to the same places, empty. No, actually, you're going to refuel, aren't you? No, you didn't have the... Ah! You went over there. You didn't actually stop on the side ones, never mind. Oh wow, these are actually not all that expensive to make. Sure enough, it takes a bit of steel. So early on is not really an option. Let's actually have a quick look at the power plant. So both of them require two workers. We probably want to build the medium wind turbines more. But they are a bit more sizable, so they do need a bit of consideration in that regard. Oh, and everyone's waiting for the train. We are about to reach 15 degrees Celsius, so I think it's time for us to take it. We'll transfer some new people in here. Let it fill up a little bit, and then we can move a few more. We're going to move some from... Uh, actually, Pravdol. Take two of these houses and minimize them so we can actually see what we're doing. And take uh, that house, maybe one of these, and one more from here. Actually, no, I probably should have just let that go on its own. Right, let's start moving the people. It's certainly filling up back quite quickly. So we know that there was a certain amount of uh, extra population there. Then from here, move out a little bit. no one moving in there. There we go. Oh, is it going to block? Oh, yeah, it's blocking the road again. Well, at least the people can actually walk through. Well, the people don't mind about the vehicles either, so... Or cars either, so I suppose that... Racks. Now, can we get some workers in here, please? Do we have people waiting at the bus platform? Oh, yeah, we do have bus now. It's going for the unfinished footpath. Oh, crap. You're taking to the bus stop over here, aren't you? Might be. But we still don't have anyone working at the power, although you... Now you're going to Rommelgrad. Also going up north, or rather west. Okay, so you are the boss that should be bringing workers here. I'm going to assign you to the line of uh, Big Ukraine bus platform and bus stop, which should be what we need. No one there, or there. I wonder if the temperature is still too low. Yeah, it's a bit too low. I 
Okay, you are going to take some workers there, at least. We can get started on these things. Well, let me get... Oh! Yep, heating plant has workers. Our plant has workers. You're bringing more on you. Yep. I actually wonder, could we... We might be able to link this to some of the footpaths over there. Let's have a look. Could we perhaps do it? Ah, okay. I see the problem. I have to go directly through. I mean, we could probably link some something from here. I don't think that's going to be a massive problem, but the other one might be. Well, I mean, I suppose we can just have a footpath connection going through here. Connect at least a little bit closer. Can we get through there? Yep. There is no connection there, but I suppose if we connect all the way there... I suppose that might help. Not entirely sure if it will actually reach all the way there. Although, I suppose it's not too far off, like, they can reach, well, just about there. We cut down a little bit of the corners there, then that might be possible for these two houses to reach there. Right, so the rail construction seems to be going fairly well here, that's good. We've actually gone around the station now, and through the station. Right, so we've got a decent bit of workers on both of these now. Good. So we're going to avoid the mistakes that we had before. I wonder, do we still have a lot of big people here that we could probably move out? Do we actually have workers? Oh, yeah, we do. So we've got another 3,000 population here now. Almost 2,000 workers. Been quite a few deaths, but nothing like last year. Right, 31,000 deaths total. Of course, uh, quite a few of those were natural. But I'd say about 30,000 of that was, well, maybe not 30,000. But at least 10,000 of that was n less than natural. Did mildly. How much do we have here? We got now about 1,600 tons of crops there. That's good. And I believe that is now pretty much empty. Here, there's still a lot of work to do. Do we have a lot of workers in here? We do have some workers at the bus platform, at least. I guess... Ooh, yeah, a lot of the footpaths have been completed. There's still a little, little bit of the inner footpaths there that still need work. But pretty much anything that they've been able to reach from the outside has been worked on. Actually, we do have some other buses that are going to be dropping people in here, so that might provide some workers for the windmill area here. We get around here, shall we? I know that not all of these will be actually usable, but... I don't like the idea that we can utilize that bus stop. I mean, actually, that's not going to be close enough for this area, I'm afraid. But I suppose, uh, how far can we reach from there? Nothing that we can see. Oh no, actually, we can reach all the way to that one. But it might be possible, especially if we, if we do a bit of a shortcut here. Now, to be fair, this is probably going to take some workers away from the power plant and heating plant, but at the same time, these are also going to be providing some power. I don't think it's going to be as much power per worker as the regular power plant. Actually, I know that it's not going to be. 
because this only takes 20 workers and so yeah this is technically per worker it's going to be five times more efficient using the coal power plant than the solar but at the same time we don't need any fuel for these right so there's basically no adults with the parents right now See when the general winter does some purges. That's how stuff tends to happen. I actually wonder. I'm gonna link this one over here. I might be able to. Not sure how far they can actually go to work in there, but you know that means a bit less bus traffic, which is always nice. Oh, right, we got the school in use as well. So there's actually a lot of the... Ooh. Okay, so this is too far from any of the houses, but... Well, in this corner is close enough for some of them. There's still workers are there. don't think there's going to be a massive usage of the car, though. Well, right now there might still be a little bit, but... Oh, yeah, it's still dropping in temperatures. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, actually, one of the wind turbines is completed already. That one, not so much. It's a bit of a bare bones uh, design by the looks of it. These are going to be a bit more the usual. Right, so we got probably the... Oh yeah, what? Why are... What are you doing there? Excuse me? I said you're at the steel... What? Um... This is not the steel mill. Apparently you are loading steel from the steel mill. Okay, well that's interesting. I guess that's what happened before. I guess we found teleportation. Uh, the driver may have had a bit of vodka. But you know, it's the daily ration of one bottle of vodka for breakfast, one for dinner, and a third for supper. We don't have any workers over here, and I think it might only need one worker to provide the power. At the same time, the regular power plant doesn't need to pull complement of workers either. Right, uh, provide as much power as it can. Right, so have we gotten... No, we haven't gotten through here yet. I haven't actually started working on most of these. Actually, either one of those. What about that one? Nope. So are our rail construction officers doing anything right now? Got quite a few things assigned. What about you? Uh, you have nothing assigned right now. Okay, well, how about you go ahead and do some of the... stuff like uh, completing the dime. Oh, actually, you could start working on this region here. Oh, well, that actually is working already here. That's been completed. Work on that one. With that one. That one. A few things that you can work on. As well as on this side, as well as we could start continuing down here. Right, so how much steel do we have over here for the time being? Quite a bit.
Right, so most of these are still delivering steel to these uh, construction offices. But yeah, we got a lot of steel actually. So at this point, we might be able to start providing a little bit to the uh, Javola open storage. Although you don't actually need to go to the steel mill anymore. I uh, know you can just take it from here. The train will deliver you. The fact that we can load in 158 tons of steel is not too bad. It will take some time to actually get the steel that it requires, but not too bad. Because over here we have a... Oh wow, even though we were buying the coal, we were still below the limit. Okay. Well, we do have quite a bit of workers there, I suppose. Also seem to have some trucks there waiting. That's also good. Have we got on any steel storages here yet? Not really. So we're still a little bit of lacking. I suppose it's alright. Especially now that we're not taking the steel from steel mill directly for exports, but rather from here. I believe we are... Oh, well, we might be emptying that still. There's mostly still dumpers. There's a few open holes there, but not too many. But that will speed up our exports again, which is severely needed. That's only half a million... Oh, yeah, half a million there and 1.3 million here. Because there's no steel. There's mechanical components there, which is certainly helping. We've got plenty of food and alcohol that we can export. Although we should probably send you out again. But I reckon we have... Yeah, we've pretty much run out of uh, crops there. Right, do we have uh, stuff to export here? We do have a lot of fuel there, which means that we've got plenty of fuel here. Also got bitumen, so we're going to send both of these out again. We'll get another million in fuel. Or in dollars. From the fuel. Right, there's still a little bit around here that needs to be completed, but how is the population doing now? It's back to 37,000. I reckon this year the population will be growing the fastest it's grown so far. Well, I bloody well hope so. We did make a decent bit of room for pretty much every town so far. All that we have so far, so. Okay, we've got 10 workers over there, you are dropping a few more. Oh, and there's actually people going down here, so they are helping with the construction. Actually, quite a few. Oh, hold on, how far can they reach there? Oh! They'll be able to reach at least two of those, or well, three of those uh, power plants from that. Interesting. So this one hasn't been completed yet. There are vehicles. Oh, they actually got the gravel there. There should be a bus bringing in some workers soon enough. That will be completed rather soon. And we can actually have a look. Oh, wow. From here, we can reach pretty far north. So with these two bus stops, we can keep most of these working at least. Assuming that they're completed. How's the university? Oh, right. But actually, that's the radio station. The university is doing all right. There's a bit of stuff there, and quite a bit of students. Right, so you actually didn't do much of work over here, did you? Right, um... Let's have a look. Is the, the train is here again. Already 131 tons. And on that side go over there and then we'll probably arrive on this side. Well, you might go on that side actually. How are we doing in terms of coal? A bit low. We could do better. So that is probably costing us a fair bit in impulse. Yeah, the coal is currently 2.7 million, it's only end of April. 
Right, we may need to set up another place to bring in coal from. I mean, technically... Hello, ATK. Um, well, we had a bit of an accident in Big Ukraine last winter. Uh, no one wanted to work over there or in these two places, which is the heating plant and the power plant. So we may have uh, misplaced about 12,000 lives or so. We were about to hit 15,000 or 50,000, sorry. But other than that, we built up uh, the southern half of Big Ukraine quite well today. But yeah, no, I. Things will be better in a little bit. Like, we have gotten ourselves some new workers over here, and the population is growing at decent speed. Well, I say decent speed, but it's been... Okay, it's grown by about 800 so far. But it's only been growing for about a month and a bit. Where the good house are right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I started as uh, UK yesterday. And next Sunday we'll probably reach the start of the war. Hopefully. And then it's gonna be pure chaos. From then onwards. But yeah, I do like House of Iron 3. Yeah, I, I agree. 3 is... Um, I mean... House of Iron 4 does have certain aspects that I do like. And I like them a lot, but at the same time, there's just so many aspects that don't feel rewarding the same way as House of Iron 3 does. Which is why I prefer House of Iron 3. On the other hand, considering that I play games like... Uh... Yeah. 4 is a bit dumbed down. So that beginners can get a bit easier inside. And I do understand why they did that decision. But personally, as a slightly... Uh, complexity of Heart of Iron 3 more. The fact that the supply system, although can be a bit convoluted at points, does actually make a bit more sense. In my opinion. Although there's some uh, corner cases where it just refuses to work. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you there, I'm with you there. Right, so we're getting our wind farms over here. We do have two over here, but then don't have workers yet. That's the civilization. I mean, for me, I'll play civilizations four, five, and six. I do kind of like each one of them in their own way. Well, at that point you basically still have two different games. And coding two different games at the same time is probably a bit too much of work, I reckon. Actually... Where do we have the extra population right now? Do we have no one in Zagrad? No one in Pravdo? I'm guessing Rommelgrad is the breeding ground again. Oh yeah. Alright then. Let's take another one of these. Let's just empty it into big Ukraine. Yeah, considering that I play games like Aurora 4X and War Fortress, the fact that I like Heart of Iron 3 more than Heart of Iron 4 is probably not a surprise. Yeah, I got some great plans for that game. I have no idea how well it goes because I usually don't play major nations, especially on the Allied side. So, yeah, uh, anything can happen.
Right, so there's still a few buildings over here that need to, well, actually quite a few houses over here that need to be built. And how much workers do we have here? We've got a little bit. Are you taking it to the... Yes, you're going through the waypoint, so you are dropping some workers over here. Good. Yeah, the Africa front will be quite interesting to see how it goes. I mean, assuming that we can cut down the supplies for the Ethiopia from the Italians, then it should be alright. And then another one that I'm quite interested in is, can we keep uh, Norway busy? Like, an uh, active battlefront for a while. Of course, we may need to bring in more than the five divisions that... Or, well, technically ten divisions at the beginning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that China Theatre will go... Or it will be lost eventually, but I'm willing to provide some help to the Chinese to at least delay the losses there. Right, so there's a lot of crown work going on over here, that's good. You drop no one there. Understandable. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of workers over here, we just need resources, which we have not gotten yet. But we do have the train moving back and forth with steel, which I wonder, is it currently in here as a fandom? No, it's heading here though. Question is, from its, which side? Yeah, it might spawn in troops uh, on the towns, because that is the script of invasions. I didn't put them on, so yeah, I... Actually... If I can invite Norway into allies before they, the Germans do the Operation uh, the Zerbung, um, I can get my troops there in time, I can set up protection on the places that they'll be landing, at least in Narvik and probably Bergen and maybe even Oslo. I'm not entirely sure about Oslo, but I can set up the troops to defend the cities at what, from the start. Which might be helpful. Although it might be that as soon as I invite them into allies, then the Germans will do that. So, I suppose I do need to be a bit careful with that. Anyway, let's focus on this game in the meanwhile. Already 19th of May. Still doing a lot of deficit, but at the same time the export should be speeding up soon enough. Now that we got the steel exports going again. Oh yeah, we've got 2.4 million, 2.8 million. I'm going to send this one out already. Oh, another fire. Well, I suppose we haven't had a fire in a month or two. Oh, oh, okay, well, we got trains or oh, a uh, fire station nearby. And this place is certainly growing quite nicely as well. Still a couple buildings that have not been built, which is mostly due to the fact that there's no footpath connections. Because we could perhaps help with that. Start constructing those. I think most of the other stuff over here, other than I suppose we could build a some sort of a town hall somewhere. There's room over there, so let's. We got the modded ones. Uh, city hall. So one of these. And then we just connect you to fifth path. Hello, Anzing. How's it going? Right, um, how are we doing? The rail has been constructed all the way to... Actually, it hasn't even been constructed beyond that yet. There is a vehicle heading this way, though. Let's not work a second shift today, so you're off. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I can imagine two shifts uh, on the same day can be a bit taxing. A little bit more work required on those. These two do not have the workers, so they do not provide the power yet. 
but is this now connected? Well, it's connected to a lot of the housing here, but not on the other side of the railway. Unfortunate, but understandable. But technically, I suppose I could have made it a bit more direct. Let's have a look. So, how far can you re you can reach there? Okay, so if I was to redo this footpath, I might be able to reach there. You know what? Because that footpath is otherwise not being used anyway, so might as well try to fix it. I'm actually going to use some cash. Get that. So is that now connected? Nope. Damn it. Probably going to be so close. Hmm. Well, I mean, other than the fact that we may have lost the population in this city once. But yeah, there were there were some minor issues. Only about 25% of our population uh, vanished. I'm blaming the capitalists for that. Right, so I have the productions over here. We've got some plastics and chemicals. We've got steel over there, so at least we're getting the components, which means that we are getting the electronics here. Uh, there may have been a purge uh, committed by General Winter. You know, the usual stuff. Right, so we're bringing in another 158 tons of steel here. Oh, and we Oh, wow. We actually completed the entire railway system here. Huzzah. How many passenger wagons we have? We got two over here. We got the train that we could... Hmm. I have a plan. Why don't you go and pick up the wagon from there? And then head back there. Launch. That way, we can set up a passenger train. Not entirely sure if we'll actually be utilizing it too much. But we can technically start picking up people from there. And taking them to... Honestly, this might be the better place to unload first. Although, technically speaking, this is in the intersection area here, so that's not necessarily a good place to have a station. Soviet Republic Winter purchase you, indeed. Well said. Right, but we got the heating plant working now, and we set up a bit more robust uh, network of getting workers in there. And we have a population of 4,000 here already, so it's not too bad. And total population is floating on 40,000, probably not... Well, actually... You know what? We're going to end on uh, January 1st today, so we're going to play a full two years. It's going to be a bit of a longer stream, but... Enjoying myself, and I kind of want to get the population a bit higher again. Have a look at this year's uh, money situations. So we've got the oil dollars, and then we're still importing a lot of resources. Although comparing to last year, it's about the same rate. Although the delivery cost has increased quite significantly. We may need to get another locomotive, though. So I'm going to assign. Another one of those to be done. Then we can maybe get another wagon. But we already picked up the wagons. I'm wondering if we got them all the way here yet. Nope, not yet.
actually. Oh, right, because we made these into one-way railways. Okay, um, hmm. See, what I'm thinking is, I could maybe start getting the concrete-based railways here. Start upgrading these. That still allows the train to go elsewhere to construct, but we can at least start upgrading some of the areas here. Although, well, actually, this is one of the trains that cannot benefit from that. At all. Oh! Oh! You started building that immediately. Okay. I'll take it. So where are you heading now? Oh, you came from here. Alright then. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. Another place where I could... Oh, right. So we got the train over here. So, do we want to set up a passenger train? Well, we've got a few options. We could either set up a train between the station here, but we don't have the lights over here, so that's uh, going to be a minor issue. But we could set up to go either down here, which would help the industry, or we could set up one from here, either the steel mill, which is, again, not necessarily the best location to unload people. Mostly because it's going to stop all the other traffic in this area. For a little while, anyway. And it may prove to be quite catastrophic re results. Although, can I... Hmm. Not quite there, and not over here, either. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I can put it in here, unfortunately. But basically, this station is probably not going to get used ever. Hmm. But yeah, I could either send it all the way down here, but I'm not entirely sure if we'll, we'll be reaching here in time. That's a big question. Now, but since we have completed all of this, we can set up the signals down here. Let's think about this. Where do we need them? We can't get anything over there. We do have diamonds on all of these. But we're going to have these do the correct way. So that's going to be the way out. This is going to be the way in. And we're going to have that be the way in. Ooh. Can we not fit in here? Oh, come on. Seriously? What about on this side? Nope. Was not on that area itself. Okay. Well, that is a problem. Actually, a really big problem. Can't set up signals other than here. If we can't set up anything over here, we can't have uh, more than one train, essentially, in between this, or beyond this point, on this entire area. Currently, anyway. I mean, I might be able to set up some... But if I set up signals over there, but both of these sides are still considered the same. Okay, so I may have screwed up here a little bit. Unless... Because they can change over here, so I don't necessarily need this diamond. Or, since we have a diamond over there, we don't necessarily need the diamonds in here. I 
was just trying to think what would be the... I mean, this area is fine. Like, that works fine. But this one, we either need to move it one way or another. It can't really stay there. Or can we... Like, with the road and all that, so... The only place we can set up signals is over here. We can technically set up signals over there, but even that would be too short of a distance, probably, for the trains. Well, I suppose I could check that. Oh, no, no. Okay, so we need to redo that one. And we need to redo that one. And that one. We'll be going there. As you should. You can switch over there. Okay, so that one's basically useless. This might work. It might work. Unfortunately, there's no guarantee of it. Right, so since we upgraded that, is the train over here? It's probably working. What about this other station? Because it went to the uh, upgrading... No, it's still technically working or something. Where's this? But there, oh! The new options are opening up. I like the sound of that. Oh, and uh, we're slowly getting some money again. I'm guessing that's the steel exports. Finally kicking in, or maybe, oh yeah, one of them has returned recently. We got quite a bit of steel there. How much steel do we have in Propova? Still 500 tons. Okay, so it's not that bad of a situation. It may slowly go down though, so we do need to keep an eye on that every now and then. Oh, another fire. Ooh, residential in Pravdo. There's already one injured person there. Now the train platform over here is still not doing anything. You know what? I'm gonna test it a little bit. Oh yeah, unemployment suddenly went down. Although it was localized in one town mostly. Right, so let me get rid of this. If we go there, we won't load up students or passengers, only workers. And then we'll go across the bay. Or... Could we perhaps have only a passenger train to get, like, uh... People to go to visit... between Pravda and Big Ukraine? We need to set up the... Uh, light, of course, for that, but... That might be an issue. Uh, one solution for the problems here. Hmm. Oh, and no workers without education, of course. You need to have basic all. You know what? Let's just set up uh, to go over there. I'm gonna unload and everything. So we're going to launch you. Actually have a look. I want to see if you can actually get the workers there in time. Now if we were to upgrade the rails here, that would certainly allow us to move a bit faster speed. And that would certainly, or most likely would allow us to get there in time. But this is our first test. If it doesn't work, then I can just uh, start upgrading the rails. Because we're not really sending any trains on this side right now, anyway. Other than this. Oh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Hello, workers. Okay, it got a few people there. Can we actually turn you around? We 
can. Hazard. Okay, now we can take a, a bit big. Oh, come on. You didn't load anyone in. There we go. Okay, 230 workers. Now let's see how it goes. It's going to be a lot of workers waiting there, though. That's going to be an issue. I think the uh, harbors might be better. Let's actually... Don't take any workers there right now. If this works... Then we might start using that. Yeah, it's a fair bit of people. I mean, the ships that we have taking people across the bay are taking 135 each. So it's actually a bit higher capacity and much shorter trip. Oh, big clinic in big Ukraine is on fire. Oh no. Uh, well, this is certainly not enough train cars for this. Uh, but I just want to see if I can actually get there in time. If I can, then, then I can increase the train size a little bit. And maybe set up another train to do as well. But of course, the train platform cannot reach everything the same way as the harbor can. So far so good, so at least we could reach Stalino most likely, because we are pretty much in there already. Yeah, the mine dropper just before the station, but at the same time, like, this goes with a pretty good steady speed. Oh, no. The first one's dropped already. Yeah, no, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, nope. Just before the station, like you said. Right, well, uh, that means that we don't need to take any passenger from there. Right now, and you will head to the depot instead. Yeah, I mean, I, if I can upgrade, and I, I know that I can upgrade some of the railways here to the faster ones, that will certainly increase the speed. Let's start upgrading this area first. Yeah, I mean, I, I could buy, but I think I'm just going to utilize the trains over here that I know will be working uh, relatively easily. Actually, is that? Oh, no, we need to do a small bit there, and then we can do another bit here. Hold those up. Ooh. Right, that's a problem. It may interfere a little bit here. On the other hand, if they know that that side is not operational for the time being, then it shouldn't be a problem. I'll upgrade at least up until there, but of course, beyond this place, uh, we are going to have to set up these lights to be going both sides. Let's actually start doing that. Um, so, where's the... There's some lines that can go both ways. Those are already both ways. I suppose I'll just go through with this area. I'll go through first the chain signals and on my way back I'll change the regular semaphores. Be both ways. Those are already directional right and then these it just means that I'm gonna have to do this again at some point 
once I've upgraded the railway, but that is the sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yeah, with the faster rails we should be able to reach there without an issue. But the problem is I'd rather use the ships quite frankly because it's just a, so much shorter trip so the people are not in transit as much. But I could maybe make a passenger train to go between big Ukraine and Pravdo. Sure enough it won't solve every problem but it will certainly solve quite a few of them. Right, so we'll keep up until here everything two directional. And eventually we'll start upgrading a bit more of those. Actually, I suppose we could. Well, I don't want to cover up that area yet, but I suppose I could start converting rails on this side. Do them one uh, one side at a time. Now, sure enough, it's going to take a lot of resources to upgrade this. Although, actually, let's have a look. What does it take? Travel proof panels and some steel. Okay. Nothing that we have a massive shortage of, other than maybe steel to a degree. Right, we need to upgrade up until there. Yeah, this is going to keep the Royal Construction Office rather busy for a while, or offices. Now they can go full speed on the station already. There we go. So that's one side done. Or assigned anyway. Unfortunately that's technically the wrong side in terms of getting the people in there. I suppose, actually, for the any future rails that we'll be constructing, at least, or designing, or designating, probably use these rails already. So how about we start building one over here? And we'll probably want to... Actually... A little bit distance here. We'll have the double rail go closer to the shoreline. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to, from here, connect to either side. So it would be, actually... Ooh, ah... Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay, maybe not the closest one. Maybe if we take the one further behind. Connect to there. And there. And then we can connect from here. Oh. Um. Or maybe not. Um, let's cancel that then. We start from this side. And then this connecting over there. So this way there's not much that we cannot build here. And we could even potentially set up a... Oh, not quite. Wonder if we were to cancel a little bit of this. I'll cancel that side entirely. Oh lovely, another fire. 
Where is that? Liquor store in Rommelgrat. Oh, right, that reminds me. We still don't have any liquor stores in this side of the town. We do have a pub over there. So, pub. Oh, a liquor store, at least. One over there. We can probably place one around here somewhere. Maybe one near the campus area. Right, let's get back to the rail construction here. So, let's see, we want to get a... Oh, right, we need to get a little bit of distance. I have a diamond there. Right, um... Actually, if I... Well, yeah, that allows them to go that way. And then we'll have this one... So we'll connect it there. We'll need to connect or continue this a bit further away. And since we do have the other offices, we can get this in between area constructed as well. But yeah, I think that will work. Now, sometimes they do need to go around a little bit, but that shouldn't be too bad. Right, can we actually... ...designate these as... Oh, yes, we can. Okay. That right away. Diamond? Probably. A bit hard to tell because of all those <laughs> markers there. Oh, oh no, I think it... Oh, no, the diamond is over there. There's a small gap than a diamond. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Basically, just gonna upgrade all of this immediately, so I don't need to do it later. How far does this go? Oh wow, it's a long stretch of railway there. Now I have no idea how good our rail system is actually gonna be once we have a massive amount of trains going around. Like it might be a bit too little, but we'll see. Right, so ooh, crossing not allowed. Okay. Um, what about if we start from this side? That works. There we go. Then. Connecting all the way down here. How are we doing some cash? Oh, we're actually still losing cash. Quickly. Ooh. Ah. Uh, what is costing us? Food. Coal is costing quite a bit. As well as crops. I mean, crops is nothing new. Also, a little bit on iron. So we actually... Oh. We're too effective in our steel production. Hmm. So, how's the steel over here? That's empty. That's empty. That has a decent bit of steel. That has quite a bit of steel as well as that one. Okay, so steel. Ooh. Hello. Got about a few vehicles here. Getting into Charles right now, which is actually not bad out there. Yeah, it might be time to get more coal mines. You're not wrong. All these there. 
Now, let's see. If we were to get a coal mine, I believe there was another place somewhere around there. Let's have a look. Well, there might be a place over here, but I'm pretty sure that that would be beyond reach. I'm afraid. And even then, we'd have to get the conveyor belts all the way there. It would be a possibility, perhaps. Hmm. Can we flatten the terrain? Alright, we don't have bulldozer there, so what we can do, though... say we start lowering that terrain a little bit. Uh, the processing plant is still running basically empty a lot of the time because there's just not enough people in here. Quality of soil is not massive. I mean, there's quite a bit of miners. They are producing like 120 to 150 at some point. But just not quite enough. Ooh. Oh, but that's wrong direction there. Although, wrong direction is better than no direction. Where's of wisdom today? But if we flatten this terrain enough here, so that we can get the road connection a bit easier, that'd be handy. Basically, we're just digging out a small platform here, and hopefully it will work. Now, to be fair, since we're so close to the edge here, I'm not entirely sure that we'll get a particularly good quality of the source. Okay, uh, that's now there. Can get the road through here. We can get it through there. We'll probably get a road through here, actually. Yeah, sure. But the people should be able to get there. We do have the power. Ooh, do we have a power there? I most certainly hope so. That may be a problem. Do we have a power line? We could get a power line from there. Okay. Good. Do we have uh, substations on this side? I think the closest one is there. Oh, Christ. So you are waiting for a train. Which I'm guessing the train is waiting for the cars. Or not. No, there seems to be some sort of problem there. But what is it? Oh no, I realize it's probably on this side, isn't it? No, not there. Hmm. Oh no! No, I'm just gonna sell one of these. Because these idiots went on the same side of the tracks. Okay, that was uh, holding everything down. Which is probably costing us quite a bit in money. I'm gonna have to build another one. We'll probably have to buy the lighters to build those. Have we at least got on... Oh, we got 150 tons of steel waiting here. Okay. Yeah, no, that was a massive problem there. Have we got on the... We have started working on the city hall, but it's not completed yet. Okay, well, that was saved. Right, so over here we at least have some workers available. Our plan is working. That much I can guarantee. And slowly the traffic jam over here is uh, solving itself.
Right, well, that means that this uh, storage was probably rather empty, yep. And it's already emptying again. Is the train heading back? I'm assuming it is. Can't see it there yet, though. So it might have been teleported. You know, it's not there. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, maybe it did head this way first. Okay, that would make sense. Because this... Okay, yeah, there's certainly still there. Is it currently being unloaded here? Probably. Up oh, to a certain degree, anyway. Right, so we are getting a lot of workers through the harbour here, aren't we? Oh, yeah, there's hundreds in there. We might want to figure out a bigger ship to transport the workers there, because there's just so many. Also, we got another 300 that we could move. Alright, then. Enjoy your new homes. Got it uh, recharged, so to speak. It's a good play or good thing that there's some of these houses in Prado that are just so central that we can basically drain all the excess population from there. From the, t the city itself. Okay, so that's full. They just keep pouring in. Seems to be quite a bit of sick people there, though. Which, to be fair, is not a good thing. Okay, now it's basically empty. I'm just gonna move the... One more, or, or 20 more, rather. Okay, so over here the hospital is working, it's getting a lot of patients, but they are treated fairly quickly. So how much is the population now? 6,000. So it's only recovering, currently at 43,000 total. We've got seven. Oh wow, I guess uh, Rommelkrat may have a bit of extra as, as well, I reckon. Yeah, they got another 300. Could be another similar place where we can just uh, keep on draining the place. That's full. That's mostly full. Okay, now it is full. Okay, let me move a little bit on this side as well. I suspect that we do still... We are using still the workers from here for a lot of the places. But I'd rather make sure that it's at least not empty. Right, how many extras do we still have? 600, okay, so I guess Zagrad has a decent bit. Oh, they got another 400. Unfortunately over here there's not as good places to pick up people, but I think this might be one of the better ones. Another fire, of course there is. At least the fires are being extinguished rather quickly, so that's good. Okay, let's have a look at the population now. There's still 400. But it has gone down rather quickly, the adults are with the parents. There's still room for it to go down as well. Okay, I think I'll let it be now. Oh, it was the main library in Rommelkraut that was on fire. 
Right, so we didn't actually start working on those uh, railways. Let's make sure that we do. Of course, it's going to take a lot of resources. I think we'll be fine. Right, so how's the, the water heat over there? Is that actually rather good? We'll have it got on the liquor store completed. And yeah, there's still quite a few houses over here, but yeah, there's massive amount of housing here that is currently sitting empty. Oh wow, we've gotten a bit more money now. Good. We needed it. Oh, both of the ships are out right now. Okay, well that would explain a thing or two. Means that there's plenty of trucks over here just waiting. Oh, that reminds me, we probably have some liquids to export, don't we? Definitely a bit too many. Probably two, two trips. Send you out to get some more crops. Just in case. We actually have a little bit there because we have started the harvest season. And how's that coming along? Needs more resources. Especially concrete. Here we are buying the coal. I'm guessing we don't use a massive amount of coal in here. Although, can we actually see that anywhere? Mm, not really, not here anyway. Does it say. Oh, right, for the max amount of heat, it takes 2.1 tons of coal per day. We're producing about 50% heat here, so it's about 1 ton of coal per day. But it's not a massive one, in all fairness. Right then, so how's the... They have started working over there. Oh, right, the <laughs> liquor store may have made a bit of a mess on the ground there, but oh well. Oh, and we should definitely set up a road over here. Although, we could probably make that out of gravel. It is kind of a service road type anyway. It's a, saves a little bit of resources at least. Right, so from here, we can reach to most of the uh, windmills. And speaking of windmills, we are actually producing a tiny bit of power from there. It is very minimalistic, but... Oh, actually, we're not producing any power right now. Is it because we're not needing the power, or...? Oh, there, that one they are working on. Oh, now it's producing power. And not anymore, okay. Interesting. No one over there. No one over there. And that one has plenty of workers as well as that one. Okay, it, it is producing a little bit of power. Nothing massive, of course, but better than nothing. So we're getting the gravel there actually rather quickly. Started building that road not all that long ago. Oh hey, we got the distribution office now. Right, so we can... Eventually, once we get the railway constructed, still going to take a long while, of course, but we can then start utilizing this office to bring in all the crops from various uh, storages uh, in here. Like, well... There's going to be a farm area over here, so probably this farm area and that farm area. Then over here we'll probably have divided into, well, one area might be good enough. And we're going to actually even set up so that the, the what's it called? The farm is technically feeding directly into, well, at least one grain storage, maybe two. But it can't be able to... Oh, it won't be able to feed into two, so never mind, one. But that might be connected directly to the train station there. Population is back to 44,000 now. So if, uh, let, if we have a look at this year, yeah, there's been quite a good growth there. If we have a look at last year, there, there's a bit of a drop. 
uh, we have not quite reached the same levels, but population has grown by 7,000, 7,500. Not bad. It's only end of September, so we still have three more months. For the end of the year. Speaking of, uh, okay, so in terms of rubles, we finally start to make a bit more money again. Although last year we still made good in the exports, but we did have a bit of a lackluster steel exports for a while. Speaking of steel exports, there's not a massive amount of steel waiting there. How's the rails over here? Have they started working on them? Not really. Has it even been assigned? Uh, okay, well what I can do is I can select that, so it will start working on that, and it will take the next one along the path, hopefully. Although, since you're going in over there, you're exiting from the same place by the looks of it. Which may cause some troubles. Oh, right, we don't have the train set over here, so okay, yeah, um... Because it was causing troubles. That makes sense. Okay, maybe we should fix the chain or the signal problems over here. That's his factory in Sakoi. Well, that should be dealt with soon enough. Right, so from this point onwards, they should be going on just one side of the track for the time being, and have we got on a diamond on this? Ooh, we have not. We could fit in a diamond over here, though. Actually, we need to fit in the diamond in a place where we can fit in lights before and after it, and still have room enough over there. But I'd rather put it on this side, actually. Let's have a look. Okay, diamond over here. I'm going to set up lights over there, and lights over there, and then we're going to have lights over there and there. Mm hmm. Can we set up a diamond somewhere around here? That might be a bit too much to ask. Yeah, that's going to be too much. We do get a diamond on this side at least. Which, to be fair, is going to be the primary approach for this station anyway. Okay, so someone got... Oh, we lost someone in the fire, but... That's not too bad. Right, so let's start setting up the light correctly. So, yeah, from beyond that point... Oh, right, but... Are they going? They might be going on the wrong side again. So, do we have a diamond closer? We do have diamond over there. I'm building a diamond over here, which is causing a bit of a hindrance there for the time being. But I think we can start making a lot of these one directional now. That's the way it should be. That's gonna be one way, and that can be regular one one way. Then these can become one way. And this can become one way. Train, it is going out now, good. I'm waiting to exit and then I'm gonna set up the lights here a little bit better. So that can be one way. Um. This is going to be one-way chain. I can technically have chain signals over here. On the other hand, I'm not sure that I need that too much, but yeah, I'll keep these uh, 
too directional for the time being. Although this can probably be regular signals there. This might even be regular signals as well. But that's because they have multiple directions to go. We're gonna have this be regular signals. And these can be regular signals. Although actually mm, no, we may need to set up some change signals here. Or just go for more one directional stuff still. But anyway, uh, I think on this side we can... Oh, right. Actually, let's have a look. If we have change signals over here, because there's going to be a switch, switching happening over there, potentially. And yeah, we have these be either direction. We're going to have this go along the correct side. And over this side, it's actually right. Most of that has not been built yet. We don't need to worry about it too much then. So let's start from the bridge again. If we want to have them switch sides there, so we do need to keep this open. And then... Oh, right, that's the... That's the gas station, or diesel station. Over here, I'm not entirely sure if we need to worry too much about the sides there, but I suppose, potentially, if we are unloading here, we can't switch on this area, so we need to go all the way there, so they need to be kind of... I suppose there could be chain signals. Over here, it's probably going to be going more or less directly anyway. Up until that one. So that the... But that's going to be one way, and that's going to be one way. And over here, it can be one way and should... Because that can be one way as well. And over here they can switch to the side if need be. And I think that switching side is mostly going to be affecting this area. So this can be, again, I'm assuming... Yeah, we can fit in signals over there if need be. For more switching. So that are going to be one way. And then over here they should be arriving... Like, yeah, this side is just going to be for that one. Over here, they should be switching to... Ooh, well, actually, yeah, it does need to be both directions there. Over here, it can be one directional again. Except... Oh, I just realized something. Okay, you need to be two directional for the time being. Now you're gonna go there, good. Now you go around. Because you don't want to go through the station there. That's fine. Okay, so I think we have somewhat solved the issue of at least up until here. So there should be less issues with two trains. But I actually do want to buy the license to build the railway... Ooh, that's 16 million. That's a, quite a bit. There are smaller ones, of course, that we could use. But they have much smaller capacity for the things. How much would the train itself cost? If we were to rebuy it. One point two. Okay, yeah, I'll just buy the crane separately. This place. Where is this 
particular... Oh, all the way here. Right. Now the question is, is the train heading off already? It might be. On the other hand, we should probably set up some instructions on this side as well. Oh, no, it's actually going down towards uh, east right now. And this place has not been started yet. There's the other... So that's still returning. Oh, that's going out. Iron Man is the Lino is on fire. Oh, no. Right, and this one's under construction. It's going to need a lot of resources. Oh, right. Uh, it has a lot of uh, workers in there. Which is actually probably hindering our steel production a little bit. Also, we still haven't set up the conveyor connections here. So let's get the transfer. I'm not entirely sure if we can fit it in there. Problem is... Ooh, um, this might work. Try to flatten the terrain over here as well. Oh, like we did on the other place. A gravel road over there, and... Connect there, good. Then we get another conveyor um, if we were to select the correct uh, area. Might help. Come on. Can we not fit it in here? Oh, wait, there's some of the modded ones that I might have. Um, conveyor roadside. So, hmm, no, that's not going to be quite what I had in, or need. Rail crossing, and then, yeah, roadside, road crossing. Well, this is closer to what I need. I mean, heck, it doesn't any fit in here. No, it's a bit too wide. Okay, so it... It's not exactly what I had in mind. The other, if we were just... No, that's... Okay, um... One of these might work. To what we need. A matter of finding the correct one. Probably gonna take a while. Or we could do the roadside. We we'll get rid of that road there. We just have to set the directions correctly there. Okay, yeah, that's probably what we're gonna have to do. So what I'm gonna do is cancel this road all the way there. I could rebuild it after I've gotten that one. And then conveyor bolt so it's not Basically the opposite direction. I mean, it's at least connecting. And then let's have a look. Can we get a conveyor belt across the road here? Nope. Damn it. Well, if we take away the road, then we can, and then we can rebuild the road. I think that's going to be our best option. We can also... That's in that a little bit. Overlaps it. Oh, come on. No. Seriously? Okay, well, I'm going to have to cancel that then. Get rid of those. Get rid of this one. Let's uh, try it again. <laughs> So it would be this way. Actually, is there some better options here?
birthday. If we place that one, see if we can get the conveyor belt. Con oh, wait a minute. The road connection is probably still going to have the same problem. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. But we don't technically need to have the road on that side, in all fairness. As long as we can get a road connection somewhere, doesn't matter too much. Problem is that can we get the conveyor belt connection first? If we can, then we can certainly figure out something. But no, we need to get rid of that road first. Okay. Right. I can't co take away the... Oh, no, I can take the road away. I think. Except it's going to probably screw up quite a bit of the vehicles in here because they'll be bringing stuff for the mine. Um, they can find another route, though. What I'm going to do is going to lower the terrain a tiny bit here just so that the hill gets less in the way. Then I'm going to get a road connection through here. I can... I'm going to start building those roads at least. Then, let's go for the conveyor belt. Can we actually get the connection now? We can. And then, can we get this connection? Nope. Not through there. Not from a Jedi. Okay, um... So now that is the problem. Can I do some sort of flattening into the rain here? Not really. Too steep of an incline. Hold on a minute. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Getting close. We're getting close. Hmm. Do I need to set up... <laughs> Do I really need to set up a road crossing here it's just so that I can get to that? Oh, Christ. That might be a solution, though. Okay, well, let's cancel the road here. And we'll cancel the conveyor belt. So let's see, if we were to set up the uh, road crossing. No, it's too wide of a building. What we can do though, is we can lower the terrain here a little bit, we'll basically just flatten it a little bit. Will allow us to get the roads where we need to, hopefully. Well, let's do this uh, conveyor belt again. We'll start with that. There we go, then can we get Okay, it's still a bit of, of too steep. But this, on the other hand... Oh, come on. Can't be that hard. But apparently can. Okay. If we get the conveyor belt out one more time, we can maybe flatten the terrain... ...with some sort of magic. Although we may need to actually raise the terrain there a tiny bit. Right, let's try the conveyor belt once more. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. There we go. Now it works. Now we'll just get a connection testing that if there's a possibility to go, go through there, but no. Not through there either. Okay, so can we connect this area then? Oh yeah, we can. There we go. Okay, that was a mess. Let's, uh, ooh, hold on a minute. Are we building more than just these roads? No, I don't think we are, but how is it? 180,000 rubles, oh Christ. Things are getting expensive. 
And then let's go and rebuild the conveyor belt, or build the conveyor belts over here. Actually, that one I did not have to use the money on, but I did anyway. Right. Well, that's a mess. Right. Oh. Right, that was the iron mine. Fire. Oh. And that one... Was probably taken care of already. Okay. There's still a few houses over here that are being constructed, but... For the most part, things seem to be alright. Our plan has full complement of workers. Eating plan has full complement of, well, pretty much full complement of workers anyway. So, perhaps this year we don't have a massive problem later on. And did we get the... Still got some crops over there. Let's actually have a look that these have been... These have been emptied. Good. And how much do we have here waiting? Oh, wow. Over 2,000 tons of crops. How much did we produce crops this year? Is my next question. This year, overall, crops still only 8,500 tons. How much have we been producing earlier? Was it then something like 4,000 tons at first? And then it went up a little bit. Actually, it's, or was it even less than that? I do not remember. we ever get the road upgrades over here done? Upgrade a little bit. Alright, and we've probably gotten all the crops from here. Yep, seems to be. So, let's upgrade some of the roads there. Right, and we upgrade it all the way there. I cannot upgrade both sides at the same time, though. Start with that side. Right, how is the resources in here? We've still got plenty of electronics, clothing, food and alcohol, so at least Pravdo is well fed. Actually, is there? Oh, and the shop can actually provide for most of the people. That's good. How are the exports doing? Oh, we've got a lot of crops at the harbour, but... Okay, we've got 3.3 .3 million. I'm gonna send this one out already. Spread the exports once again. We got nothing in there. We got plenty of stuff over here, so it's just a matter of getting them in here to be exported. Plenty of trucks, and that's already heading out with eight tons of uh, food. One three million, and that ship. All right then. Oh, and we did export the bitumen, didn't we? I'm pretty sure that we have enough for another one. Yep, we do. You can launch. How much do we have in here? I'm guessing plenty of bitumen and plenty of fuel, so we can send both out again. Alright then, so how's the... Oh, not enough workers here. Oh, it was probably just completed. I'm kind of curious to see how much this town has population though. Oh, and this can actually feel quite a bit of people. Okay, three towns of population, that's not too bad. There's plenty of housing available, so we don't need to worry about that. Actually, most of these houses, well, half of these houses are probably more or less empty. This side is more full. Actually, but they can still move down this way. But that does solve a few problems. How about here? We're now 8,000 again. We did manage to grow the population quite nicely. 45,500 total. And we have another few hundred of... Uh, that's also with the parents. I'm guessing, yeah, Robocrat is the biggest, uh, well, I wouldn't say problem, but uh, location, I suppose. Oh, right, and now that we got these houses with population, they can actually work here without the buses. This, on the other hand, cannot get the workers other than with the bus stop. And are these? Yeah, that's working. Providing a little bit of electricity. As well as that. Well, actually, is that... No, not right now. No, 
not much power going through there, is there? There's still one, uh, four houses that are being constructed. I'm pretty sure that we got the, yeah, the liquor store is completed there and over there. And I'm guessing over here as well, yep. Now we are directly buying the alcohol there for the time being. But we should probably start figuring out where to place down our next uh, production facilities. We've got plenty of crops here being produced locally and it's not being used all that quickly. We've got plenty of meat there, we've got plenty of livestock. So we should probably set up some uh, food and alcohol production in here. And if it's close enough so that the bus stop can provide the workers, then that's fine. And this can get workers from at least two of those houses. What about the slaughterhouse? Okay, then I can get the workers from the same two. I wonder, if we were to set up a footpath along here... That might allow us to get a few more workers from here. Although, no, I think it's too far away. Oh, right, we started working... Oh, yeah, that's that's the shiny railways, is it? I think it is. I actually know that... Ah, there is where it switches. You can see that's wooden and that's uh, concrete. Oh, and we started working on the rail construction office here as well. Good. That means that we're going to get... Oh, right, but we need someone to bring in resources here. Right. Well, to be fair, we do have uh, some distribution officers here still that don't have a massive amount of things to do. Although, uh, we probably have a massive amount of... Uh, oh, wow, yeah, we got quite a few buses here. How about we get some more covered holes? I know that we're going to need plenty of those. And then maybe we'll start get some harvesting vehicles. Uh, not actually a roller. I mean, we can use at least one roller. Maybe a paver. Then some more covered holes. Right, so what do we have? We've got plenty of covered holes here already, to be fair. Some more buses. Send them out. Down here. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up another route here. So you're going to go over there. Potentially drop people there. Drop people there. And then drop people there. Go through there, just for the heck of it. And then return back. I'm assuming we're here. Well, we got some passengers there, not really workers. Well, we got one worker waiting there. To be fair, the people in here don't have a massive amount of places to go to work, other than the services in here. Okay, another house is on fire there. Have a look, uh, the... Stalino. Mine is... missing some resources, mainly boards and steel. Well, we're getting some of those at least. And then this can be providing more coal over here. Now we may need to set up another bus bringing more workers here because the extra mine is going to slow down a lot of the production. So as soon as we got everything, well actually, now that we've got people living close enough to the heating plant, it's very unlikely that it's going to run out of workers entirely unless we have some massive problems. We do have a massive amount of workers here. We do. So yes, we... Hold on. Uh, are you the one or you... No, you are the one that have... Alina as your destination, so I'm going to send you out again. Oh, right, and some of these are going to go refueling. We've got 21 million now. We have had more, but at the same time we had had, or have had a bit of a bad time for a while here. Right, I'm going to send you out with 3 million. You can get there before the end of the year. We've got some crops waiting there, so that's good. Uh, how much crops do we have in Alba Vostok right now? 700 tons at least. 
That's not too bad. We probably well, there's nothing over there. Some over there. How much? We've got plenty of clothing here. We may want to set up a some sort of distribution deal with this place, for example. Well, I'm not sure if this is the best place to be fair. It might work. Another option is to get some more trucks over here, although we probably have... Well, we've got quite a few destinations already. So we can start taking some of the clothing in there and take it to... somewhere around here, because that's the place where we are producing clothing. We've got plenty of clothing there to use. Oh, one house that still needs workers. <laughs> if it doesn't work to throw more resources, only it does. Exactly. On the other hand, we... Hmm. I've got an idea. These, these covered holes are not really doing much. I'm going to send a few more there. And then I'll give them orders to get clothing from their clothing factory area directly. Let me utilize that one first. Right, then you are going to be taking clothing from there, so let me select... I'm going to make sure that you don't take too much, like you're going to leave 30% at least there for the local areas. But that means that the trucks are probably leaving now. Oh yeah, they are. They're going to be busy for a while, but they're not really used for anything else yet. Until we get some food, alcohol and such productions going on. Well, actually, I'm going to start designing the food production area here now. Let's see, food factory. We have one here. Oh, that's the road connection. Although the road connection doesn't need to be nearby, actually. Not too nearby, anyway. Although, yeah, it's probably best to have it on this side, actually. Now that I'm starting to think what I'm going to need here. Um, place it down there. Place a second one on the other side. That into terrain a little bit. Get a crane storage in first. Probably better to have it on this side, isn't it? And then we'll put in the cargo station first. We'll place that one. And then let's go and place the second um, food factory. And if we are lucky, we can get connections working just the way we need to. Although it might be too far away from the food factory. Oh, well, not all the bus stop, rather. We can always set up another bus stop over here, of course. Actually, it's not a terrible idea. Sure. Uh, bus stop over here. Have road connection over there. Can connect there. This can connect here. And of course, we're going to have a road over here. And this road can connect probably to this road. And you can probably connect to that bit of a road as well. But that can still continue on here because there's still room over here for something. Transit in Wojka. I mean, yeah, that works as well. Right, so we got that one. Then, speaking of Wojka, we're going to set up a another area over here with two distilleries. Although, it's going to be a bit trickier. I think if we place it down about here... We're going to have the crane storage over here again. 
and then another distillery. Ooh, actually. Gonna be a bit asymmetrical right now, which is a uh, shame, but I can't avoid it right now. Because there's no mirror images of these. Well, there might be some in the workshop, I suppose. I haven't gone through everything. There we go, so we've got that connection there. We can utilize this road to get over there. Also continue through here. Reach there. This thing can probably connect... Oh, right. Yeah, that was already connected. So this can connect to there, I reckon. Maybe even... Well... Connected that one. Then we do need to get some footpaths here, but that's not a massive issue. Build over there. Right, over here is going to be a bit of a tricky one. It's a rather long one, rather. Actually get a... Hmm. Connection over there. Well, now they can use... Oh, well. It's already there. Not going to take it out. Right, so we got those. Uh, where do we have the substation? Over there. So that should be everything within reach for that. Good. Probably get some more vehicles in here. Because this will ne then start distributing the crops from here to the other two places as well. Oh, it's already 23rd of December. My goodness. Yeah, we'll save. I'll send uh, two of these over to the distribution office here. And yeah, that that will be enough to at least feed. Um, well, I think it's going to be enough to feed a uh, big Ukraine. Merry Sovietmas, indeed. And then, oh right, probably start building the footpaths as well. It's gonna take a while before we actually reach them, but but yeah, that should be enough to at least be this area, and perhaps even export some to north, various other places. Then, and then on this side, we'll do something similar, for at least providing food for some other places that need it. Actually, I'm wondering. Maybe no, there's not enough room for there in for a small harbor. So, thinking, could I get the ex or the food and such over here that I need brought in with a ship? I mean, technically, if I was to, well, there would be room over here. It would be rather far away though, so it's not really ideal. Or I could utilize this port. There's only the cement ship right now. So if we were exporting somewhere around here, yeah, it wouldn't be too bad of a dis uh, distance. On the other hand, the truck distance is going to be bloody massive still. Look at this here's economical stats a little bit. We almost broke even. Did do a little bit of profit in uh, dollars, of course. Not too bad. How's the population doing? 46,000. Okay, well now that we fixed the issue of uh, workers being able to reach the heating plant, I'm pretty confident that uh, Big Ukraine will not have uh, such issues anymore. Although, actually, they got some clothing over there, but is the clothing... It might not be pulled in here. No, I don't think it is. Right, so we can stop the clothing imports as well. Because the amount of clothing here should be good for a while. Right, but we basically built... Aside from few buildings in here, we built all of this today. Which I'd say is pretty good. 
And we also did a pretty good work on expanding the rail network, and we do have some, well, one train actually. Oh, and that's the first of January. Let's have a quick look. Did we get anything? Oh, we did upgrade a fair bit in here. And we has that. Oh, you're having a problem there. Trying to get back where you don't know how to. Because you can't switch. Yep, yeah, it is uh, New Year. Um. I'm going to have to check the stuff with that particular train later. We've been live for about five hours. So I will be back on Wednesday with more of this. And hopefully we can start expanding the rail traffic a little bit without running into too many issues. But is... Oh, I see. Is this from the... No, it's from the rail construction office too. Hmm. Well, I'll have a look at that. Good enough. But yeah, I'll be back on Wednesday and Thursday we'll continue with the Dwarf Fortress and on Sunday we'll continue with the House of Iron 3. So, thank you all for watching and until next time, bye bye.